there aren't enough rage games out there right now. Specifically, three-dimensional rage games. So I'm giving myself one week to make an entire rage game for one of my friends. Now the goal, obviously, is to do more with it eventually, hopefully, but to start, because I have a problem starting and finishing things, we're gonna make an entire rage game in 3D for my friend in one week, and at the end of the week, I'm going to have him play it on stream and grade me. <laughs> I guess we'll say, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna grade me. He's gonna give me the harshest rating he possibly can based on how aggressively he rages. Now, the goal is to make him alt F4 and not even be able to get to the end, but we, we'll see how well that goes. Also, my phone is missing. Uh, hold on a second. Vibe to the epic music, all right? Hold on. Sweet. Okay, so we have my game dev playlist going. I will show you guys what I currently have in just a moment. Uh, five viewers skip ahead. You guys know the deal. Uh, nope, that's the wrong thing. Let me go here and everything looks good. Looks good. Okay, sweet. All right. All right. Let's let's just go ahead and get started right away because here, here's the deal. Look, I already have a good baseline. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna. How is this gonna? Oh, I don't have a good positioning for game dev stuff. Okay, well, we're going to be partially covering it. Um, can I do, like, this? All right, bring the music back. What is that? Oh, it's showing that. That's not what I want. Can I hide that? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, so this right here, I guess that's a better view. Hold on. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna pause the music. We're gonna bring in some casual calm music, okay? Calm, calm time. We got our we got our crazy intro out of the way. Now it's there. We go. Okay, calm music. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so here's what we have so far. It is very simply Bean. Okay, we love Bean around here. If you guys have been here before, you know we love Bean. Okay, so I asked first the other night specifically. The first is the person I'm making the game for, by the way. Uh, I asked him the other night specifically. Do you want robot or bean? I didn't give him any context. I just asked him that simple question and he said bean obviously isn't that your whole thing which is perfect because let me tell you this is a whole lot easier than a robot. So here's the deal. Look, it's a it's a basic 3D platform, okay? They're sprinting and jumping and that's all there is right now. I'm going to want to add more. How much more? Not sure. Do I want to add double jumping, dashing? I don't know. But the only thing that I really do have set up so far is that. You explode when you hit spikes, which is great. And then you can hit R to restart, and you can do that as many times as you want. The idea is it's going to be this kind of tunnel system, I guess, of uh, of challenges in 3D. And I, I like the color combination of blue and orange, but I think there might be more uh, color changes, kind of like Geometry Dash, where as, as we progress, then maybe it becomes purple and yellow or whatever that color combination is and that kind of thing or red and white I don't know what is the if, if blue and orange then what is I don't know what we'll figure that out that doesn't really matter because we have a week so maybe we won't get to that kind of stuff but what we need to do is set up a bunch of levels with this design and build a full rage game in a week that's 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 the rundown. Okay, this is what we have so far, and I need you guys to help me decide how levels are built, what uh, elements exist in the world, uh, and what what characteristics our player has, what what actions we can do as a player. Once again, we're just a bean, and the idea is that this is going to be very prototype esque. I hope this doesn't destroy the bit rate. I just realized this might completely obliterate the bit rate, but. It's besides the point. It, it's fine. So my first problem right off the bat is something I've been struggling with over the past couple days, which is the way the camera functions. And this is always a struggle I have when I do, uh, when I do anything in third person. So right now, right, I get behind this and the camera isn't freaking out. It's because this is a custom camera system. But then that happened, right? And now we're inside the bean. Like, why, why did that even happen? I don't know why that happened. Oh, it happened because we hit that. Okay. So, then there's other problems, like, 
if I go here and I position this, where's the what's the position? There's a there's a there's a few. Yeah, yep, yeah, there it was. The the camera will freak out and have a seizure every once in a while as well, which is a huge problem. Like that is that that can't happen. So I was already debating: Do I make this first person? Do I make this a stationary camera like Bean Game? Uh, and, uh, Thankmas game, do I just use that camera system? Because I could. It's gonna be- it's gonna make my life miserable trying to set everything up, but it's an option. First person bean would be very interesting. Let's see what that would look like. If I wanted to go first person- <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see. 500. Oh wait, it's gonna change it, isn't it? Yep, it sure is. Okay, can I make- Default arm length. Oh wait, no, because it's oh it's doing this still. Okay, let's disconnect that. There we go. Yeah. Okay, oh it's offset, but this is what first person bean would look like, kind of. Like 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 that's cool and all. Like that's that's fine. Ignore the fuzzy bean. I mean maybe that is the way to go. Maybe first person is the way to, I don't know. I don't I it's hard to decide because this could be really cool in third person. And it might be insanely difficult in first person. I don't know. Let me let me offset the spring arm correctly. Okay, it's 35. Whoa. I'm in like in the middle of the bean. I'm I'm tiny now. Okay, that really messes with me. Alright, we're gonna do one more thing. This is annoying. Okay, can this be... 35? There we go. And then... This. Okay, this is all for testing sake. Let's see. Okay, if I were in first person, this is kind of what it would look like. And, like, that's fine, I guess. Like... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Do I want it in first person or third person? That's the biggest debate so far. I, when I explode, it doesn't look as cool in first person. Oh, the exploding might make me, might make up my mind right there, because that looks terrible in first person, but looks amazing in third person. And by amazing, I mean very basic, but that's all that matters. Ooh. It definitely controls easier in first person, which defeats the purpose, since it's a rage game. I think we have to do it in third person. I think it has to be third person. I, I have to. I have to do this, in, which means I'm going to have to figure out the camera system, or I'm just going to have to leave it and ignore the fact that it's a little jank sometimes. Because this is just better. It just is. It's just it's just better this way. It's harder to control this way, but it looks better. You usually prefer first person, but rage game in third person. Yeah, it's... I mean, I want to make a, a first person rage game at some point, but I don't think that's going to be this project. I just, I have such a problem with, like, the walls and the jitteriness. Like, like, look at that. What is, what is up with the fuzziness there? That's such a stupid problem. Okay, whatever. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll do it as a, as, like, the, the stationary camera that I use for Bean Game and stuff like that. Maybe I'll end up doing that. I don't know. We'll see. But that doesn't matter right now. Because right now I need to decide what elements are going to be in this game because right now it's literally just run around jump and that's it also making levels is going to be interesting because i'm not really good at making levels as we all know at this point and it's usually one of my least favorite parts of game design but i mean in this case it's it's a lot more simplistic right so this shouldn't be too bad This is all just a default play area, just to make sure things were working, so I won't do anything with this too much. Uh, the idea is the first two levels are going to be a, um, like, long hallway. And then I'd like one level that's kind of windy and all over the place, but we'll see. Welcome in, Chernobyl. Papa Vano, yeah, Papa Vano is in the other room right now. He's, he's not here right now, unless he's behind me. He's not behind me. Okay, he's not watching me from the shadows, that's good. 
Will it cost money? Uh, the idea is to make this an actual Steam game, which means yes, probably. This will be one of the first releases in a while that will actually cost money, because most of my games are free. But what I'd like to do, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release it, because this isn't to be released. Right now, this is literally, I'm making this for first. So if you missed the intro, this game I'm making in one week, and I'm going to, I'm making it for first specifically. He's going to play it on his stream, and he's going to give me a grade. Uh, I'm hoping to make him rage quit. That's my goal. After that, if it is good enough, I would like to polish it up. I would like to make a bunch of levels and release it as a full paid Steam game. But for now, uh, it is just this. And m maybe I will release like a demo version on itch whatever I end up making in the week I will release on itch as a demo version or on steam as a demo version but there will hopefully at some point be a full release that is paid on steam that's the goal it won't be super expensive or anything it'll be re reasonably priced I don't know I would I don't I don't think it would go over ten dollars max but also it's only been in development for like a day so <laughs> And yes, this, this, I, here's what I have set up. I can show you what I have set up. This is the camera system that I've spent probably 12 hours tweaking and trying to figure out and it's still broken. Uh, but this is the little bit of code I have there. And then there's this, which is just, uh, general movements, respawning, um, making the player explode when it hits a spike. And that's it. That's literally everything so far, except for like the post-processing that I did and little bits like that. I wouldn't even really count that as, um, as having progressed at all before I started stream. So I'm counting this as day one. Also, I forgot to do that. Which, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. <clears throat> just, download, just downloaded the blank app yesterday. I can't see what's in those three stars, so I have no idea what, what that app you're talking about is, but uh, uh, congratulations. Why didn't you get a notification? I don't know. It's uh, join the Discord and turn on your Discord notifications because that notification went live. Yeah, that one worked. So yeah, tw Twitch doesn't give good notifications. So if you want good notifications, make sure you have the Discord notifications on. Itch. Oh, an itch link. Just download the Itchio app. I didn't know they had an app. That's new to me. Okay. What are we? What are we? Okay, guys, I need I need you guys to help me decide what's what do we add here? Because right now all there is is the there's basic movement, there's sprinting, there's jumping, and there's no there's nothing else other than that. Um, uh, other than you explode when you hit spikes. That's all there is so far. Do we want? Okay, how do we make this a rage game? Right, this is supposed to be extremely difficult, which this music is not really fitting that idea. Uh, you can see the the player behind walls, so that's good. I want to change the coloring there a little bit, but whatever. For now, it's fine. The the overall aesthetic I'm good with. The bean I'm happy with. Uh, I want to put little eyes on the bean, but that's for way later if we have time. Uh, my big concern is I want to make levels. So, the, for context, this game is based on a project I made several years ago when I was first starting with Unreal Engine. I took the, I wish I prepped an example of this, I took the default Unreal Engine 4 mannequin character and I just plopped him in this long vertical, or long vertical, this long hallway that uh, was just filled with cubes and spikes and the entirety of the level, or, or the two levels that I made were just long hallways and you had terrible control, like there was no, there was no smooth control like this, this is actually polished pretty well. In that, it was just the default controls, and you just had to progress through the level, not hit, get hit, and make it to the end. And that was it. That was the entirety of that game, but I lost the project files a long time ago, and I've always wanted to recreate it. Now that I have more skills, I think this is probably the best way that I could recreate it, because now there's an actual player model, I guess. But the whole world just looks better, it plays better, that you actually have reasonable controls, and it was in third person, so that's kind of why I'm stuck on the idea of it being in third person. But now we need to decide, do we add other abilities? So one of my favorite rage games is I Want to Be the Guy, which has double jumping, and I've always loved the idea of double jumping, but I know it allows you to skip 
so much of the level if the level isn't designed to be super spacious for the idea of double jumping, which is a problem. So I don't necessarily know if I like the idea of double jumping. Maybe I can add double jumping as an option later on where it's like it's a power up that you can collect. Why does that keep happening? It's like sticking to the wall. Yeah, the, the camera is sticking to the wall. That's not that's not right. Why is that happening? Okay, guys, work through this with me. I, I know I'm throwing a lot of things at you guys at the same time, but here, here's the problem, right? Um, the basic spring arm sucks. Unreal Engine's default spring arm is terrible. So I'm trying to make an adjusted version of the spring arm, and it's just not working. So I trace to see if anything in the range of the camera is hit, and if it is, then we do a collision test. And then we make the target. That's why, right there. Because if we hit something, then it just continues. Like, okay, because it's not clamped. There's the solution right there, and this can go away now. It needs to be clamped to the max angle, but that still doesn't solve our other problems. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> Double jump isn't a good idea. Maybe you can have a temporary power up to get over some gap. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe the like these first few levels will be designed with no double jump and then maybe later I'll add the ability to, you know, a achieve a double jump or like get a temporary double jump power up or something. I don't know. Um fun fact you're extremely allergic to places that have no oxygen. Yeah, I think um I think we all are. I just I, I think that kind of fits. There uh, there's probably oxygen in here though, so I think I think you're good. You're fine in here. What about dashing? So here's my question, right? Is this enough, gameplay-wise, to make interesting levels? I mean, that that's true for the first maybe two or three levels. Like, you could make interesting variations of things like this. I do want to add moving platforms and falling spikes and things like that to make it kind of... My goal here is to make a fair rage game, not an unfair platformer like, what's that game? Cat Mario, right? And I want to be the guy and games like that, right? Those games are, you know, they surprise you with problems. It's like, I wasn't, how would I have figured that out if I didn't die there? I want you to be able to do this in one go without having to fail to figure things out. You just have to be skilled enough at it. So it needs to be a skill-based platformer. Not according to Mu Lung, there isn't... What? I don't know what Mu Lung is. I've never heard of this. What? You bring out the most random facts. <laughs> okay, focus, guys. Focus. Remember, we're, we're making a video game. <laughs> a dash would make it fun, but also increase the difficulty. Would it increase the difficulty? Because I would think it would decrease the difficulty. I would think dashing would have, the, uh, would have a much higher ability... Or a much higher chance of, of dashing into spikes. Or like dashing through walls or something. I don't know. It's a struggle. So here's the thing. I don't feel like I've ever made a rage game. Uh, like a full release rage game. A lot of people think that uh, the Bean game was a rage game. And I disagree with that. That was more a platformer than a rage game because it wasn't necessarily difficult. However... This, I don't want to go down that same route. I want to make it fair, but I also want to make it difficult. Just to make the gameplay scale with the abilities. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that, though. I kind of want you to have all of your abilities at the start. So that's why I'm, like, hesitant to be like, yeah, it'll just be a power-up later on. Because I never really like that idea i like being able to have full control at the beginning like if it's a rage game specifically then it feels better to have full control at the beginning implement dashing into a level design which gives you more space to make rage if it's only jumping sure it's hard but it limits your level design yeah here's another thing i'm going to do let's start with just Designing the first level and we'll go from there. So I need to I need to start with 
adding i i hate working also we're doing this in unreal engine 4 because there's no lighting in this game this is completely unlit and it's going to be better for everybody's pc because for the love of god lighting destroys everything this needs to be negative 50 negative 50 zero i think i don't remember what is this oh never mind <laughs> zero zero negative 50 i was wrong there we go uh and then 100 100 100 Cool, and then this uh, needs to be what five hundred on the X? No, a thousand on the X? Five thousand on the X? That's a hundred. Get inspiration from Celeste for making hard levels with a dash. Yeah, you know what? I've never looked at Celeste. I should I should take a look at that. All right, hold on. Yeah, I like how I'm thinking of the idea of adding a dash, but I've never played any games that have a dash ability. <laughs> It's uh, it, it's great when you when when you're like an amateur game dev like me. Like I would consider myself what Twitch stop. I, I would consider myself an amateur game dev at this point because I am not very skilled. <laughs> like I, I'm skilled at making stuff, but I am I am not well versed in the video game world. And I feel like that's very necessary for what I'm trying to do here. Um, no, this should be, what am I doing? This should be, I guess that's fine. Yeah, because this is just the flooring. Okay. How many of these do I, oh, God, the modes are so different to Unreal Engine 5. The Vano Dash, of course. Alright, how many, how many rooms, quote unquote, do I want? I guess we'll start with like 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is definitely not enough. Maybe 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll start with 15. Let's just see. Oh, wait. I wanted to do... Ooh. Okay. This is annoying because these... I don't know if it's better to have... Cause here's the thing. This is all distance cold right now. So, the, everything in the fog just disappears. But if I do it as one piece, it won't do that. I don't know how, care, how I don't know how much I want to care about performance for this because we only have a week. And I've already spent 30 minutes just talking about what the ideas are. <laughs> um, and I'm doing other things this week that aren't this, so I don't really have the full week. I think it might be better to do it just one by one the problem is these this is creating a bunch of extra faces that I don't need I don't want to spend time doing the annoying things like that excuse me like that though I guess I could it's it's a struggle all right you know here's what I'll do let's create one giant box one giant box at zero zero negative fifty uh that is going to be i think a thousand in total is it perfectly cubic it is that's too much yeah this is when the big brain kicks in this is when i have to really start thinking okay so if i do this could i invert it no, it would have to be subtractive. That's annoying. Why can't I just... Okay, hollow? Hollow. Okay, I can just do that. Okay, good. Uh, now, I don't want the outer faces, though. Oh, that's weird. So it's not perfectly cubic. Should it be a perfect cube? Or should it be 800 instead? I guess it should be 800. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. So with that, I'm going to delete all of these floors, the 8 million cubes that I have. Well, oh, why, did I, why did I set it up like this? I did it in the most annoying way for like the preparation. Jesus, okay. Random sounds going on around me. That, this is great. Right, I guess I can, I don't know why I'm keeping any of the cubes. Whatever, just get rid of all of them. You know what? Get rid of every single cube here. Go away. Except for these. I should just do it this way. I'll get rid of the spikes in a minute too. So let's just save these. Because we're going to redo all of this so it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so this does have an outside, which is annoying. Um, okay, can I, can I not, if I, if I get rid of these, is that going to cause problems? Oh, it's not. Okay, good. Well, then there we go. That's first step successful, kind of. Okay, now if I play... Okay, there is collision. Okay, so now this is just one-sided. This is way better for performance. I don't know why I care so much. I shouldn't. Okay, but this is this is a single room, so this needs to be... I guess I'll take this, I'll duplicate it. And then we'll progress from there. What just happened? What, what did that just... Oh. Why? What is happening? Why is this broken now? Why does that do that? Excuse me? I didn't do that. Wh Why? Why is this one so horribly bugged? Excuse me? <laughs> really? Fine, okay, I will just... I'll bring back all the faces, which is so annoying. Why would it do that? I do not understand box brushes. It is the most random garbage element that is extremely useful and extremely broken in Unreal Engine. I don't get it. So now I make... Okay, this is already hollow. <sighs> That's so annoying. Why would they do it like that? This is normally the kind of stuff you would do in an external program, but I don't know something like Blender well enough to be able to do that, so I end up doing it here, which is wonderful. It's so annoying. All right, so I can get rid of this inner one as well. And then there's our, there's our like, first piece. And then where'd the other one go? Why did it disappear? Excuse me? It's so broken. It's so broken. Fine, I'll just place a new cube. Good God, why? <laughs> I can't place a new cube. It breaks completely. How does that make any sense? And now that's all broke. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, hollow is not the way to go. Instead, we're gonna just make this not hollow. Why did it move? What is happening? <laughs> hey, Josh, welcome in. Oh, programming be that way sometimes. You're, it's so right. It, this is this is a mess. This is already a nightmare. Okay, can we please? Okay, can I just if I duplicate this and then I just make this slightly larger? One thousand. All right, we're eating already. <laughs> Welcome in Lunar Energy. All right, uh, 1,200, 1,200, no. Yes, I don't know. All right, if I make this one subtractive, maybe that's the solution. All right, we're, okay, this is not E time. Do I need to make E more expensive? Are we going to have e flation again? It's already happened once. <laughs> okay, why is that not working then? What? This is subtractive. How is this... How does that... Why is this broken? How is box... How is bo How are box brushes so broken? This is supposed to work. Oh my god. Alright, we're creating new boxes. <laughs> For the love of god, please function correctly. Okay. And now here, and then subtractive. Thank you. So this one needs to be, nope, yes, I don't know, there we go, 1200, 1200, thank you, now it's working, now it's magically working, there we go, okay. Not the eflation. Yeah guys, don't risk your, don't, don't, don't waste your points on E, uh, too much, cause then e e the eflation will, will occur. There's a lot of problems, so it, for those of you who are unaware, if you go through the uh, the potential things over there in the rewards, you can see there are some very expensive options, and you guys are wasting all your points on E. And if there's eflation, it's going to be even worse. So if you ever want mod, or you want to cause the mod apocalypse, or you want me to literally eat a banana, 
which it's more than that now just so you know the banana redemption is actually kind of worth it now maybe depending on how what you consider to be worth it um you might want to save up your ease <laughs> all right uh this this is this now there we go now it magically works okay you know what sure fine there we go. But now the problem is these. Okay, can I just duplicate these preemptively? There we go. Okay. Now I can go and I think it was because I was in brush editing mode. That's so stupid. Okay, there's more E's. Alright. <laughs> See, everybody, everybody loves E. That was the best thing that could have possibly happened from that one stream. Because nothing else good came of it. So I'm glad we got something out of it. Oh god, did that... Really? Oh my god, that's- why is that the way that that works? Okay, can I- <clears throat> if I get rid of that, I make this one hollow. No, sorry, I make it additive, and then I make it hollow. It's just- it just has these unnecessary outer point- what did I just delete? No. It has these un unnecessary outer faces. So if I delete all of them... So close to your 400k left- so- so close! 400k left to get to your goal. 400,000 points, I'm assuming you're talking about points now. Uh, still, that's a lot of points to go. But, I mean, you know, you are you are well on your way, I suppose. What are you trying to cause? Wait a second, I need to see what... Because nothing is... You do not have 600,000 points. There's no way you have 600,000 points. Rose, I would be extremely impressed if you've somehow managed to get a 600,000 points already. Because banana is extremely expensive. Alright, uh, that's... That works, and now I can... Do this, and that'll be our first piece. Okay, cool. Uh, this one... Wait, did I do that with the right one? Yes, I did. Okay, this can go away. Now this... Oh. Okay, but if I do the oh my god, it broke again. Oh, it broke again. <laughs> Why? I don't understand. I just don't. I cannot comprehend this. It's broken again. All right, you know what? We're done. We're done messing with it like that. We're just gonna we're gonna take this and we're gonna make this. Create a static mesh. Wait, no. I need to make. I need to get all the walls first. I know what I'm doing. What am I hearing in my... I'm hearing so many things in my real room. You can't math? Okay, well now I just have no idea what you were talking about. But I'm assuming you think you're close to something. You're almost... Oh, you're going for mod, aren't you? Because you're not a mod yet. Even though you you probably deserve it more than most of the mods. Uh, okay, how do I- why can't I select the faces? Hello? Okay, if I just close this. Oh, maybe that was why. Nope, that wasn't why. It's just a broken system. Okay, we're gonna select these. We're gonna make this, uh, grid, whatever it is. Planet Shade over here. Well, I wasn't talking about you, Andres, unless you think you don't deserve mod. In which case, I do have the ability to de-mod. <laughs> Alright, now this, I need to create a static mesh, and here, this is going to be SM room end. Okay, and then I need to undo, and then delete this wall. That's mesh paint, that's not what I meant. I know how, I know what I'm doing. I know how this works. I don't. Okay, there, and then this, I can create static mesh to be SM room, or hall, I guess. And then the only other one I would need, or I guess there's two more. No, there's only one more I would need, because uh, I could do this. Uh, or actually, no, there are two more. Because I need one that's this, which is hall part, and then one more that is just without. Okay. 
none of that probably made any sense to you guys, but I know, don't worry, this makes sense to me. Um, hall part. Okay. And then... This last one goes away, and then it's just room open. SM room. Okay. Now I just need to make a uh, room. We'll just say room. Okay. And there we go. These. Oh, none of them have collision. That's a problem. I guess these could have. They don't really need complex collision, but that would probably work better. All right. Can I edit this way? I hope so. I don't know. Okay. Static mesh. Body setup. I forget where these things are. Primitives. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it like this, am I? Fine, I can't do it in bulk. Whatever. Okay, so if I take this one, for example, I can't do simple collision. Okay, we're just going to make complex as simple, which is fine. This is... There's not that much to it. Uh, this will be complex as simple. There we go. And then do the same thing for each of them. Complex is simple. Complex as simple. And complex as simple. Did I need to do this? Absolutely not. Am I doing it anyway? Yes. Is this going to make my life a nightmare later if I choose to change things? Uh, yes. What just, why did that, why did my volume go quiet? What just happened? That was weird. Why, I don't know why that happened. Okay, whatever. Why is my computer screaming? Hello? This is like the most calm possible environment. What? Is my internet having a problem? What's going on? That's why it got quiet for a second. Okay, are we having problems, gamers? Probably not. No, we are. What is happening? Why? I did nothing. <laughs> nothing changed. Are we buffering? We're not buffering, are we? I hope not. Okay, I think we're- I think we're fine. Maybe? Okay. What if I just go into unlit mode? It's not gonna look that much different. It just looks more dull. Computer's still screaming. Computer, why? What if I minimize? And now it calms down. What? Why is- What is it screaming at in here? There's nothing going on. Okay, whatever. You know, that doesn't matter. It's fine. So now if I place room end... Right here. What song is playing? Wait, I don't remember adding this. I hope this is copyright free. Okay, it is. Hopefully. I don't remember adding the song, but it's a good song. <laughs> this is not the most random stuff in my playlist that I don't even know exists. Why does that look off? What? It's off by one? Wait. Oh no, come on. No, don't do this to me. Okay, guys, all of that was a waste of time. Okay, deleting all four of these. It doesn't fit. I'm an idiot. What did I even do wrong there? I have no idea what I just did wrong there. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use planes. Because who even cares? This will work better for me anyway. Um, why did I try to do this the other way? Wait, no. What am I doing? Uh, zero, zero, negative 50. Why is that off? Is it not negative 50? Is this one just zero? Okay, I guess this one's just zero. Uh, and then this will be... 100? Nope, not 100. Uh, 10 by 10. Yep, okay. 10 by 10 by 1. And then this will be... Whatever the grid material is. Uh, I lost it. Okay, that's just gonna go away. Grid material, please. There we go. That's better. Okay, now we'll just do six of these. I don't know why I didn't just do this in the first place. What's wrong with me? Because there's no lighting, so this doesn't... It doesn't change anything. This is not that much of a difference. Uh, and then this can be eight. Nope. This will be eight. 
There we go. Because the walls need to be eight, and then the ceiling will be the same. Flip that, like that. Okay, cool. Progress. That's all that matters. Okay. Then we're going to get off to a bit of a slow start here, as you can see. But once we get into it, we'll start making some levels. It'll start coming along, and everything will be great. The, I, usually, this is the kind of stuff I do off-stream while I watch YouTube in the background or something. But that's not happening today. Today, we do this together because I want you guys to have input and scream at me if you have an idea for something. Or if you think I'm doing something horribly wrong. Or if I'm stupid and try to create meshes in with horrible scaling like I just did a minute ago. Alright, so what is that? That's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's just duplicate all these then. Except the end one. Okay, five. Now there's ten rooms. Okay. Now I'll do 15 rooms. Alright, yes. Okay, 15 rooms. Let's do 20 rooms and we'll delete if that's too many. Because, yeah, now I can make different shaped rooms and not be limited as well. The spikes are called 3D Doritos now. <laughs> they were red, but they they do kind of look like Doritos a little bit. You're, you're kind of right. Okay, now, officially, nothing has changed we, uh, other than these cubes are gone. But we've done literally nothing but delete things and change the way that this looks. I can't tell if it runs smoother or not, though, because my computer could already handle this before because it's extremely simple and there's no lighting. Uh, but there we go. Also, yeah, one thing I didn't mention is if you get too close to the player, it becomes kind of see-through. Like that. That's why we were, it looked like that earlier. That's the other thing that I did. That's all basic, simple stuff. Okay. Oh, the only thing that's not going to work is slanted rooms, which I don't think we'll have anyway, but if we do slanted rooms, it'll look like this. Yeah, see how it kind of stretches weirdly? I guess it doesn't look that bad, but it definitely does stretch and get, yeah, so it's like offset, but whatever. None of that matters because that's not part of the plan anyway. Okay. Now, how's my culling doing? Let's hope that it is actually working, and I will find that out by doing... Okay, 12,000 normally. Let's do 8,000. It's not calling. 5,000? It is not... It's not... It's not calling these. Okay, why not? Call. Allow distance call. Okay. What? Um... That should be working. Why is that? It's suddenly not culling anything. Wait, what? Oh, it is cull- I'm just an idiot. I, you have to be in that view. Okay. It is culling. Okay, so 12,000. There we go. So now it- nothing looks any different, but now it's just culling out distant objects. Okay, good. <sighs> We're officially back where we started the stream. <laughs> and we're almost an hour in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Now I can officially delete all of these pieces and carry on. I really want to make a level editor as well. I want to say that now, even though I'm going to regret choosing to do that if I ever do. But I would love to do that at some point but we have one week so I need to not do that okay starting out we are going to create a very small wall here of cube this is this is gonna go extremely well can I actually I guess I should do this with this I should do with geometry oh this is a great ending song we're not ending stream guys this is not this is not the end of stream this is like the, this is, you know that video, hold on, wait, you, you know that video of the bear singing goodnight? Hold on. Uh, nope, nope. Bear sings goodnight song. Yeah, 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 this. Um, 
Luna, do you have time to sing a goodbye song? This is what this reminds me of. Hey, this was really fun. Why is it freezing? Oh, oh, there, there we go. I don't know if this is copyright. Okay, it's not. Okay, anyway, no, the, the stream's not over, guys. We're, don't worry, we're not ending. This, it's not, it's not it. But that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> that very much reminds me of that. You love this show? I don't, I didn't know ab about the show at all. I just, I've seen the streamers talk about it, so that's the only reason I know it. <laughs> but that's really what this sounds like. Alright, yeah, yeah, back to epic gamer songs. Alright. We'll get back to that at the end of stream. See, I need to, I need to feel energized and excited about what's happening. Alright, uh, no, well, is that E-worthy? I guess that's E-worthy. Sure. You can have the E for that one. Alright, cool. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna put this off to the side. This will be, a, like, our default go-to cube. I need to move this by 100, though, please. This is our go-to cube. So we're gonna copy this. And we're gonna start here. Okay, it's gonna be right here. That's the start. And we're gonna be in brush edit mode. I gotta remember I gotta do this stuff quick. Okay, I kinda wanna make an arch opening to start. So we'll do this. And then this. And then, oh, it doesn't do like that. I have to extrude. Yes, I know. There we go. Oh, it doesn't, that's so, this is gonna be kind of annoying, but it's fine. All right, make a remix about first singing goodbye to play. <laughs> yeah, there you guys go. Whenever first streams next, uh, he's streaming tonight, I believe. I think he's doing more Walking Dead. Um, tell him to do the goodbye song and make a remix of it. Tell him to cover it live. All right, now we extrude here. Okay, and then this extrudes down. I kind of want this like archway opening because this is this isn't exactly how it was in the uh, in the the orig original game in the first version of this project, S but you know it's close enough. All right, checkpoint. We're gonna start. This is our start checkpoint. Oh, that's why it, I couldn't see anything. Oh, it's already here. Never mind. Okay, the problem is there's no center point. So you're always going to start kind of not in the middle. So I guess I could do... I guess I could force it. Because it's just a spawn point. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Jesus. That one, that one exploded my lungs. Ignore that. Ignore that I... Ignore everything that I say. Thank you, editors. Thank you. Uh, okay. There's that. We spawn here in the center. Kind of... Okay. That's fine, I guess. I guess we should probably start backwards further. I'm being very nitpicky because this is the first level and I want it to be kind of a good introduction. Oh, did that start outside? Oh, it did. Yeah, it started out of view entirely. Ooh, do we want the ability to do this? Because I guess that's fine, right? Having the ability to zoom out of the, out of the world here. I would want to make the outside a bit more interesting than just a dark void, but... No, because then you can see around obstacles and I don't want that. So yeah, no. That's not a good idea. But in here, I should have... Uh, no, that just means this needs to move forward. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's, that's kind of annoying. Okay. It's fine. Let's just do this, and then, yeah, no, this. God, box, box brushes are really annoying. There we go. Okay, that's that's a cool little entrance, I guess. I don't know what the point of that is, but it's there now. Um, just to signify the difference between the start room and the next room, I guess. I kind of want it to be more if I'm going to do that. I don't know. That's fine. Yeah, that's probably better. Because I want to have like a big sign up there that's like, this is level one or whatever. I don't know. Streams make you hungry. Andres, go make more chicken nuggets. <laughs> that's the ultimate solution for stream. 
All right, do we have just text? Okay, cool. Text render, flip it like that. Uh, I could make this a 3D sign, but I'm not going to, because uh, I don't have time for that. This is this is a one-week process, and that's all I can manage to do. All right, text center. There we go. <laughs> I love that this random song that I don't really know where it came from just has this like 80s rock solo in the middle of it. Alright, there we go. And then this needs to be... Where's the font control? Hello? Is there just not a scaling? Oh, okay, world size. Sure. Uh, I don't know what this is actually going to say, but for now we'll just say uh, uh, level 1. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't plan this part out, because this is all it was when I did it initially. It was just... Level 1. Why did that go away? Hello? It just deleted my text when I changed the font. That's good. That's what I want. Alright, you know what? We'll add a different font later. I don't even care. Good enough for now. Can I add an outline? That would be nice. This is so limited. Why is this so limited? I swear there's more you can do with this. Alright, you know what? Ignore that. We're not gonna do that. That's... Mm, oh, I'm, uh, I'm stubborn though. Maybe I just do this. And then I make it smaller. I don't know why I care so much about these details. This is not the important thing here. That looks terrible. That is absolutely horrible. I love it. I'm getting rid of it. We'll figure that out later. That doesn't matter. That's not why we're here. Okay. My next problem is... I currently, the way that I'm building these levels, I'm using a spike asset here that is uh, one piece. Why is it offset like that always? Can you not do that? If I drag things in the world, yeah, that's that's frustrating. Okay, here, mm, here's what we're doing. We're moving everything over 50. We're moving everything over by 50. This is uh, this is genius. I promise. All right. If I do that. Nope, it's not genius. I'm an idiot. It doesn't work like that. Never mind. Okay, that's just annoying then. Because the world line texture doesn't go with it. Vano's unique orbit. Vano orbits its parent star in a highly eccentric orbit, swinging dramatically close to and far away from its sun over the course of its year. This results in extreme temperature variations and unusual seasonal patterns. Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, why not? I guess. G cool. I think the first room here should have just like random spikes that you can you can hit. Anyways, what I was going to say before all of that was the way that I'm doing spikes is I have this one blueprint for spikes with an inherited mesh of the spike object. And then I just duplicate that mesh as a child of the spike blueprint, so I'm not placing a billion spike blueprints, and it's, it's just one. So I'm not placing a billion of them in the scene. Better for performance, I think. The problem is, it would be better if I were using uh, mesh instances, but I couldn't figure out a way to get instances to place like I can, like this, and I didn't want to pay for a... Oh god, don't crash. Why is it crashing? I didn't want to pay for an asset that would allow me to do that. Whatever. Why did it just delete? It just deleted my spikes. Exc it, the spike is dead. What just happened? Why does that happen sometimes? Randomly. Unreal just loves to cause random problems. The most random problems that make no sense in any circumstance. Whatever. I, I was explaining something that doesn't matter to 90% of you. I guarantee it. So it's fine. Mm, maybe like that. There. Sure, why not? And this can come over 50, even though it's already going to be in place. I'll just put it here. 
There we go. Alright, so we have a good like little start room where you can die, you can just see, oh hey, these Doritos are actually dangerous or something. I don't know. That doesn't look that great though. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Uh, this room doesn't look satisfying enough. Maybe maybe this first room is literally going to be a room that you have to like climb up the wall to get out of or something. I don't know. My voice is soothing. It's going to make you doze off at work. Just be happy I'm not playing a horror game right now. Because I'm, I, I'm calm right now while I work on video games. But when I... <laughs> Whenever I play any sort of any other game, I am just screaming frantically, so <laughs> Let's hope that you don't doze off at work. I why are you watching a stream at work? You're playing a dangerous game over there Josh 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 what J Josh or Josh? I'm gonna I'm Josh. I think hey. Welcome in waffle man. How you doing? <laughs> don't expose me you exposed yourself. I don't know what to tell you there. <laughs> Uh, alright. This room is annoying. May okay, what do you guys think about the idea of... Hi. What's up? I swear I just heard a cat in my ear. That was weird. Um, John or Jonah works. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, do we like the idea better that it's like this? as like an introduction like, hey, this is the start room. There's level one and then you go into the next area. Or is it better... To have it kind of like this, where you have to do a little puzzle to climb up there and get out. Because that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's like we start in here, so that way the first room you have to figure out how to get up there, even though that looks weird and it looks like the world is upside down. Uh, I, I feel like that's that gives you, uh, just immediately throws you into the chaos. I don't know, the first room is the most important in any, in any game. Maybe I should just leave this. We'll come back to this. Let me just add like a staircase to start or something. I can. There are box staircases, right? I think there are. Also, my voice is more soothing right now because I did literally wake up right before stream. I was up until 4 a.m. last night prepping for this, so that's a lot of why my voice is deadly right now. You got the go ahead to buy food. Let's go. Did your wallet give you permission? What? Wh who gave you the go ahead? <laughs> All right. This needs to be 400. Nice stair height. Oh, that's weird. Four, 44, 45. Nope. Why is it? Why is that? Got it. Why is that? Why? Is it that? No. Okay, fine. It's going to be 40. So then the last step is... Part okay, fine. That works. Step length... 50? I don't know. I don't know. This is just... This is a placeholder anyway. Why do I care? <laughs> oh, it's off by... Why is it... Th why is that how that works? That's so stupid. You know, I give Unreal Engine a lot of praise. Unreal Engine sucks sometimes. <laughs> Okay, there. That's a giant. That's way unnecessary. Mom said she'll be late, so she said buy food. She'd buy for. Blah, she said to buy food for us. God, I wish I could read. <laughs> that's that's great. Although it does sound a lot. It sounds a lot funnier when you say I got the go ahead to buy food, but. You, whatever. You get the point. This is, I don't know why I'm, why do I care so much? This needs to, I need to knock, oh, you can't just run, well, you can't, oh, you can. No, you can't. Why is this, why is this, why? There, that works. Oh, this is a great song. This is, this song was made for Ludwig, but this is an amazing, I've listened to this song on loop many times. Your wallet is crying, but you are not. That is so unbelievably accurate. Okay, can I... I don't know why... Why do I care so much? I need to stop caring so much about this. Okay, and then... Can I... Can I select... I just can't select sides. Alright, cool. There we go. Okay, cool. There's our... There's our entrance for... I can't climb up the staircase. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and now the top stairs too. Um, this is so annoying. 
Why? I need to not care. Why do I care? Why do I care? Why is this the thing I'm doing? Stop caring. There. No. <laughs> Why? It's just barely too low. Do I just increase the step height or do I do... Oh, this is so stupid. Why am I- why do I- why am I doing this? Why do I care? Why do I care? There. No, it still doesn't work. Okay, that lip just sucks. Fine. I will just- I will just do the thing that I'm gonna regret doing later. And we're just gonna make this, uh, step height. We're gonna change your step height. To... How does this work again? Jesus Christ! You can't do that when I'm not paying attention. Welcome in Waffles. God. Oh my God. Okay. I, did that one wake you up, Josh? <laughs> Good God. Cheers. Yeah, there you go, guys. Go, go subscribe to YouTube or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Let's make that 16. See what happens. Nope, this just sucks. This just makes no sense. Why is this step impossible? How- this is literally lower than the other steps. Am I an idiot? We know the answer is yes, but- Shut up. <laughs> what? Why? Why does this suck so much? This. Does this have step? No. Fine. We will just go back to this, and we will make this 40. We will raise it up, and we will drop it down. There we go. Fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, That all that matters is that we can get out of this area and carry on. So then it lets us into this. Okay. So the idea is we'll have some sort of puzzle in this first room to get out. P puzzle, quote unquote, and then we go from there. Two waffles, I'm going crazy, I'm having schizophrenic episode. There there are two separate waffles. One is the waffles with 20,000 accounts, and one is a mutt. Okay, two separate waffles. Very, very important that they're different. <laughs> You're our idiot, of course, of course. Alright, well, both waffles equally like E, so... Might be hard to tell the two apart. Okay. Let's... Let's let's focus on the second room. I'm calling them rooms even though it's one giant hallway, so maybe they're not technically rooms. Okay. If I bring this in here, I need to think back to when I made this a while ago, what my level design was, because it was very different. Ooh, you know, I should have one spike blueprint for each environment environmental asset that's not the words uh for each room section of the game whatever i don't know what you what did you call it can confirm i have two twenty thousand accounts why don't i have twenty thousand followers then hmm? bean dip fake fan <laughs> fake fan alert okay uh how do i want to space this I guess just like I'll do two rooms ish for this one. I'll just have this as like my marker. There's my marker right there. Also have this off to the side. There we go. Okay. Put a big yeah in chat, but it didn't pop up. I love when Twitch just denies you guys chatting abilities. Like, the entire point of Twitch is for you guys to be able to chat, and sometimes Twitch just says no. Like, you guys just aren't allowed. You can have the followers when I feel you deserve it. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't- you don't think I deserve it. Okay. Alright, Bean Dip. Uh, that- that- that might be a ban. Do we time out Bean Dip for 20,000 seconds? That's hard for me to do because I love bean dip too. I'll let the mods decide. You guys have the power. Minutes? <laughs> no, that's a lot of minutes. Um, mods decide. Do we? Are we 07 ing to bean dip for 20,000 seconds? 
I'll 07 preemptively, but just in case. 07 to bean dip. I don't feel bad about it because I know there's 8 billion accounts. People do call me bean dip. Now, why do they call you- why do they call you bean dip? There's only one mod, so it's up to you, Andreas? Yeah, you're the only mod here right now, Andreas. I volunteer to tribute. You mean as tribute? Because, uh, <laughs> it's two different things. I'd love to know. Okay, so you just got the nickname Bean Dip for no reason. I'll take the punishment. Why would you take the punishment? Why would you decide to do that? Why would you, why would you give it a nine? Guys, we're doing the same thing that happened during Lixian game, okay? Y you guys are distracting me. I need to focus. I need to make a game here. We're, we have one week for this, okay? I can take it. Yeah, you just want to see what your body can handle. I, I get it. I get it. Alright, what is the, what is the idea going to be here? Oh no! <laughs> Chernobyl got, got taken out for 600, 600 seconds. That's not 20,000 seconds. Uh oh. 07. 07, guys. There goes Chernobyl. It's the second fall. Chernob Chernobyl fell once already. And there they go again. Look at what you've done. Th th yeah, think about what you did here today, Bean Dip. Think about what you did. You caused. Wait, I don't think I can play these. I think these are. Oh, are they not? Oh, never mind. I thought these might be copyrighted, but no. Well, we'll find out when this stream, uh, when the VOD of this stream gets horribly struck down. He did say he volunteered, so it's really on him. It kind of is. I'm surprised Andres took him out. All right. Uh, what do I want to do for this section? Okay, this, uh, the, the thing that sucks about this is that it does very much rely on where you come out of in the first room. So I guess, oh, ignore the staircase, because the staircase won't be here. But let's assume that we do, okay, no, the, the, the staircase was a waste of time, what am I doing? No staircase. I'm gonna put this here, and we're just gonna go with this. We'll assume that, okay, you made it up here, this is your exit point. Right, this first room, this is a good exit point, cool. Now, from here, hmm, also the checkpoints is going to be an interesting thing to do. Oh, Andres undid the timeout. No, Andres, no, 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 re-time, no, time him out again, time him out again, re-time him out. You, you gotta stick to your guns here. You, you can't, you can't make, you can't undo your decision. No, you, you make a decision, you, you commit to that decision. 10 minutes, that's hard, no, 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 you, you made the decision, you stick to it. Stick to the timeout. We can't be having soft mods. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I guess I could just do this. Soft mods. <laughs> Welcome in, Joe and Candace. Uh. Oh my god, they've both been struck down now. <laughs> Uh, it's not the mod apocalypse yet, but it's the view po it's the viewer apocalypse. Congratulations, guys! You you did this to yourselves, probably. How do I don't want to do this? God, making this the way that I like, like making this in a way that I like is the is a struggle here because I want this to be difficult, and I don't know what the goal is here. Oh, I struggle with with level design so much. Man, I've placed like three blocks and I'm already... My brain hurts. <laughs> uh. Uh, man, who told me to do it? I told you to stick to your guns here, Andres. Alright. Uh, you doubled down. <laughs> I ain't, no, I ain't no soft mud and like softy Andrews. Softy, there's your new nickname, buddy. Okay. Okay, I need to just, I need to determine how far you can jump. Really? Okay, can I make it all the way over here? No, that is my limit.
Nope. 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 There is no coyote jump. Okay, you can make that. That is the furthest angle jump you can make, which that's frustrating right there. That's a that's a killer. Wow. That's a difficult jump. Okay, but there's there's like the max of an angle that you can make. Which what is that? That's Uh, I guess one, two, three, four. So that's, that's a five block angle jump. Jesus. Okay. Can you make it further than this then? Oh, probably. Yeah. Okay. So that's the, that's the most r of a regular jump you can make. Okay. So that's, that's what? Five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the five block jump. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five spacing. Four blocks angled. Interesting. No nuggets for you. Andreas Jesus hops back in and says, you have failed. All right, well, Andreas Jesus over here is not real Jesus, so you listen to me. You you take orders from me, Andreas, not, and not your Jesus, because your Jesus is a liar. <laughs> All right. That those are hard jumps. Okay, those are really hard jumps. All right, 5 that's that doesn't really help me that much because here's I don't know what I want to do. What is what is good level design, guys? How do we learn good level design? 1 2 3 4 5 and then there's our jump if we were to just because the idea is I want to fill the space, but I also don't want to... Whoops. I also don't want to make it insanely impossible to where it's just annoying. I want it to still be fun. Okay, so you can still make that pretty fairly, as long as you're jumping at the last second. I could make it so that you have to... Oh, here's an interesting concept. Right, you could make the really hard jumps, or you could uh, you could do this where you might miss it, and if you miss it, you have to do a harder challenge. Maybe I'll save this for a later room, but it's worth putting together right now, just for testing's sake. Okay, cool. So now if I take this... Like that. Okay, so there are two little rooms here that if you miss the jump, then you have to do a difficult platforming section. But also, I feel like that's fairly easy. You won't be able to respawn there. You'll, the, the save points will happen at specific rooms. So, like, in here, you probably won't get a save point until, like, the third room. Because that's one thing that makes Rage games really difficult is the lack of save states. So obviously I don't want to make him do the whole level in one go. That's kind of annoying, but I need to make saving sparse. So that way it feels like you really failed if you miss these jumps because then you have to do extra stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll save that for later rooms. That'll be way further down the line. But for now, it was fine. Good thing to try later. What did I just do? That's not what I meant. Okay. Let me move this over like a thousand, a couple thousand. Okay, that's way later down the line, but that'll be an interesting little room to do. Okay. Tell him you'll give him a hundred bucks if he does it in one go. See, but I don't know if I want to put a hundred bucks on the line. But also, I know he's not that skilled of a gamer. If he does it in one life, I'll give him ten thousand dollars of, uh, of... Of, um, of money that I will steal from you guys with, uh, with promise of, I don't know. I, I, I had a, I had a goal in that sentiment there, but it didn't, yeah, a vano currency, a vano coin, yeah. I'll start a, I'll start a Bitcoin 
or I'll start a cryptocurrency called VanoCoin, and I'll pay him ten thousand dollars of VanoCoin as long as he invests in it as well. <laughs> That's the catch. Yes, welcome in, Maker. We're doing game dev. Yes. Void coin. Actually, that's pretty good. I like void coin. I like vano coin better. All right. I suck at level design. Uh, I had God. I don't remember how I did this before because I I had great levels before. There's like one area that I can picture in my brain from a long time ago when I first did this project, and it's not great. It's like the worst level design possible. So it's not something I want to try to recreate. I wish I remembered the rest of it, because the rest of it was actually good. Okay, whatever. We need to do something. <laughs> so, let's... Let's see. What, what if I just... What if I just make this a bunch of spikes to start here? If I just literally layer this all with spikes at the bottom... That could be an interesting quote-unquote first room, even though it's technically the second room. This will give you, like, a good example of what this game is going to be like and it's going to be a nightmare there's a lot of meshes to have in one spot but there's no lighting so i'm not that worried about it i guess i could go all the way to the end of these two rooms that's a lot of doritos right there there we go oh that looks weird oh nope oh nope why can't I jump now? Am I stupid? Yes, I am stupid. Okay, that's a very hard jump, so that definitely won't be the first jump, or he'll be stuck here forever. Okay, even I can't make that right now. Why am I so bad at this all of a sudden? Hello? Hello? How did I make that before? I you, I was doing that jump before. Okay, there we go. There's one at least. That is that is very weird to look at. Exploding outline in the or sorry, the exploding character in the outline is interesting. I I wanted to go for a very like prototype esque look. The idea for the name of the game that I have right now is platform prototype with an underscore. So literally just platform underscore prototype. That's my idea right now for the name of the game. So I wanted it to literally just be Bean with like these prototype materials and very simple shapes and very simple uh, textures and everything. But this is being made for first. I have one week to make this game and then first is going to play it at the end of the week on stream. So I want to make it difficult, but also I want to make it polished enough to where I could potentially do something with this and maybe make it into a full Steam release afterwards. But for now, this is basically like I want to make a demo. I want to make a demo for him in one week. But right now, it's just a basic platformer, so there's not really that much to it. Other than this. I do love that little explosion, though. That part's great. I don't have sound effects yet, which... I'll add that. That'll be one of the last things I do, is music sound effects, but... We'll see. Right. Whoop. Nope. Okay. That works. How do I want to do this? Ooh, you know what I could do is, like, pillars. Maybe that's the way to go. I don't know how high I want to go. I demand to be banned for the 20,000 seconds. <laughs> Welcome back, Shannon. Why do you want to be banned? Why is this something you want? Why is this a, a goal of yours? When I was three, I always... I, I st when I was young, I started dreaming about being banned in a Twitch chat for extremely long periods of time. That's up to Andres. Recently, any and all things I hear have been turning into game ideas. I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know what you mean, but... Redeemed to be timed out! Alright, alright, you, you got it, you got it. Hold on, hold on, give me a second. Let me just go to my viewer rewards, channel point redemption. How much should it cost to be timed out? 10,000 points? Let's let, let's add it. Uh, this is be timed out for 10,000 seconds. Or get timed out for 10,000 seconds. It's going to be literally just get timed out for an unreasonable amount of time. 10,000 points. 
Uh, the background color is going to be orange, yellow, purple. I don't know. I don't know. What's a good color for this redemption? What are the colors of the other redemptions? Uh, red, green, red, yellow, orange. It's three hours. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, I guess green. Why not? Sure. All right, there you go. <laughs> it's a redemption. It's it is available. I need to change that title though. Um, ten thousand no. Uh, uh, vanish for ten thousand seconds. There we go. All right. Beautiful new reward. It is one of the more expensive rewards. There are several extremely expensive rewards. There's the I want mod for 100k, the mod apocalypse for 250k, banana for a million, and then there's just this little one sandwiched in between vanish for 10,000 seconds for 10,000 points. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my god. Rhythm Rock RPG that follows a band a, a, a band stopping arm 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 a Ragnarok apocalypse. Uh no arm 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 a Ragnarokopolis. What are you saying w waffle? What even I have no idea what you just said. None of those words made any sense, especially the last one. <laughs> uh, you know how YouTubers tend to get video ideas out of seemingly random things like that for before, before game ideas. Well, I get that, but like, what? I don't know what game things you're talking about. Armageddon, Ragnarok, Ragnarok, Apocalypse. Okay, see, those three words are already hard words to say. Those three words combined is uh, dangerous. Why are we singing the Canadian uh, national anthem? This is, this is okay. I'm I'm getting back to game dev. <laughs> okay, I think pillars is the is a good section here. See, when you can name a section, usually that means good things. Probably. Also, this needs to be. We need to start with shorter ones. So the first room, I quote unquote, I don't know if I want to call it a room, even though that's kind of what it is. All right. So there we go, and then the next one will be three. And like ideas for full blown games. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know where you're trying to go with that. What is what what is the conclusion of your statement here? <laughs> okay, one of my favorite types of designs is this, where it's like, okay, normally you want to go like in a straight line linearly, right? But in this case, you kind of have to go in a circle around. I want to see if you can make this though. I don't think you can. I think that's too far. If he if he makes that, he's a god gamer. All right, here and then here and then you have to go here. So that it forces you to kind of go around and then you can continue to progress in different directions. And then I can add. Okay, now I'm getting in the flow. I'm getting in the flow of things now. Finally, finally progress. Progress, gamers. Progress. We need a progress emote, which means you guys we got to get to 50 subs so we can get another emote. Because there are like what three or four emotes now that we wanted to add. Okay, can I please? There we go. And I could do like this. Uh, three. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Ooh, we're very close to the ceiling now. Nope, that's not what I meant. Put the idea I had in as simple as possible. What did where did what did I miss? What did I miss?
There is no conclusion. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, cool. Who made this majestic hammer? I like how you're experiencing the hammer for the first time now. I love how there are still people who come in and experience the hammer for the first time, even though they've been here many times. Huh. Chernobyl really does want to get timed out, and I don't know why. Make, uh, sorry, not Maker. Maker, I just assume you're the, uh, the creator of Chaos here. But no, uh, Chernobyl, if you can give me a good reason why you want to be timed out, I'll just time you out for for uh, for 100,000 seconds. Can you make that? Oh, you probably can. That's annoying. Oh, you definitely can. I literally just made that. Well, that's a nice little skip there that I don't want you to be able to do. Blessed be the free Vano timeout. <laughs> 100,000 seconds, that's insane. Yeah, exactly. You're asking for this. So, clearly there's something in it for you, you know? How do I do that without letting you jump to there? Other than just putting a wall there. I also, I want you to be able to like, go in a circle here. I guess I could just put another pillar over here that's taller because you could jump to that so it would have to be up here that's really tall yeah so I want that to be like a goal point maybe like that maybe in the center I guess force you to like jump around because then you would have to go to that you'd have to go to that Let's see. Kind of looks weird. Whoa, that camera though. Okay, that's fine. So that you can get to there. Push it a block out. I you you gotta specify which block because I'm moving kind of fast now. I think this. I want it like over here though. Maybe not. I don't know. I think, I think you're talking about this one, and I yeah, I might need to do that. The problem is this now. I can do that, which is fine, but that's kind of easy. You can't reach that, can you? No. Can you reach this? Okay, no. That's, that's much harder now. So at least, like, there's a nice skip if you're skilled enough to do it. Hmm. Nuggets are on the way. Let's go. What about Chip? I did remove Andreas Chip Redeem. Should I just bring back... Andreas is in here basically every stream. Should I just bring back the Andreas Chip Redeem? I could do this. Ooh, you know what I could do is block it. I could literally do that. So then you could do that. To e. I don't know if you're Eing to the Chip Redeem, but I'm assuming you are. That makes this significantly harder if you wanted to get the skip. Oh my god. Because there's no coyote jump. There's like a half coyote jump. Because it's, it, it, it's not a real coyote jump. It's not programmed to be a coyote jump. But you can kind of get one if you just jump really late because the, the bean kind of hangs off partially because it's a, it's a capsule. So there's collision to the very edge. Okay, I don't think you can make that skip anymore. You might be able to. We'll see that in speedruns. Okay, but then you can literally go to there. Okay, cool. Oh my god, this camera. I need to fix this camera somehow. <laughs> Hashtag bring back the chip. Alright. Why do people want you to eat chips so bad? I don't know. Do you want the chip redeem? I mean, the people have spoken, so I think I might need to add it anyway. Add new custom reward. And what price should it be? This will be chip for Andres. I always cheat my way through Andres, though, because I just say... I don't put the the accent over the E. So I'll, I'll do it officially this time. Excuse me. Force... Andres to eat a chip. 
Chip could be whatever food you have at the time. That's that that's that's true too. I would say maybe you guys are eating for a hundred, so I don't want to make it a hundred because then there'll just be a bunch. Maybe we'll go two fifty. That'll be the first two fifty redemption. There we go. Chip is available now. It's a little bit more expensive than E, but you guys E like crazy, so now you can force <laughs> you can force him to uh to eat chip. Food better get here quick because nothing in my room is edible. Um, I mean. Cannibalism is always an option. I just want to throw that one out there. Alright, that's... Okay, cool. So that that skip, I don't think is possible anymore. So that's good. <laughs> chip for Andres. Oh my god. I sure is going to spend all their points on chips for Andres. Inflation time! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, maybe this is a little too low. This might be a little too low. Andres, I hope you have a lot of chips. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna make it we're gonna double the price immediately. Uh, yep, there we go. That's better. <laughs> it's a better start at least. Oh my god, <laughs> that immediately backfired. I'm sorry, not sorry, Andres. Uh, hmm, do I want to do? Yeah, I guess that's fine. It's kind of frustrating because of the camera. I think I might have to do. Because the way that I'm setting this up is very specific to the environment, so I might have to do the other camera system, which is going to destroy us. Inflation any percent. It's not going to take long. Oh my god, it's still going. Alright, a thousand? Is, do I need- do I make it a thousand? I'll make it- I'll make it slightly less than a hydrate, because you guys don't even redeem hydrate anymore, so there's- the, it'll be a rare occasion. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Super inflation. It took what two minutes? Jesus. Make it five thousand. Uh, Rose, you say that like you're gonna about to drop five chips right now. Good time, Lunar. Here you go. Cheers. They're gonna help you eat your meal very quickly. Yes, they absolutely are. Also, welcome in, Kate. I don't think I saw you pop in, but hi. Unless you've been here, in which case I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. What is this nightmare? I'll put a halt on the chip redeems. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Slash prediction. Uh, we're gonna start a prediction about Andres chips. So, how many times, mm, no, I won't do this one, I was going to do, okay, you guys can do a prediction if you want to skew points, but, um, I was going to do how many, what was it, it was, uh, how many times will Andres get, how many times will people redeem chip for Andres this stream, um, but I, w I won't do that because then that'll take till the end of the stream. But if you guys want to throw in a prediction to skew your points, go for it. We did that. I don't know how many you guys have, but some of you have a ton of points now because I gave up like my whatever it was, 40,000 points I had uh, on my tester account. Or 80,000 points, I think it was. I missed your hydrate. I literally did two hydrates. I think it's because you were doing a bunch of chip redeems. Well, here you go. Cheers anyway. All right. I think, oh my God, the frustrating part about doing the different camera system. So there's, there's two ways I could do the camera system right now. Obviously I can make it first person, but that's not going to happen. So if I want to keep it third person and that's specifically because of the exploding bean, which I think is amazing. And I want to keep it that way. Um, top Chernobyl liquidator. Or, uh, li Boo! <laughs> Thank you for following. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you get timed out so you made a separate account to avoid getting timed out? Alright mods, get on it, you know the deal. If they don't redeem it, it's 100,000 seconds. <laughs> if they redeem it, it's 10,000 seconds. If they don't redeem it, it's 100,000 seconds. Start counting chips. I'm not going to do that prediction, but if you guys want to do that prediction, go for it mods. 
So here's the problem right now. I could I could do first person. First person is not gonna happen. But if uh, if I want to keep it third person, there's a problem with the jittery camera right now. So like this, it loves to freak out in certain areas. Like look at that. Look at that vibration of the environment. That's not normal. That shouldn't be happening. I don't know why it is happening, but I think it's because what it's close to the character or something. I don't know, but. It, it's better for this like rage environment because I want you to have to look around and figure out where to go If the camera is automated like on a track like I did for bean game Then it's more obvious where to go because the camera like the camera will be pointing in this direction, right? So then you'll know oh, I need to go over here, but if there's other stuff going on and it's just in regular third person then you'll have to figure out Okay, wait, I need to go that way. How do I go that way? Oh, I have to go this way So then you have to actually figure out where to look, you know? I should be banned for purposely trying to make you guys angry and ban me because that's manipulation. Well, so here's the thing, you're failing because <laughs> I'm not angry. See, when I get chatters, that's a good thing. If people are talking in chat, even if it's nonsense garbage that's unrelated, at least you're talking. So that doesn't make me angry. You could make the mods angry, maybe. There, there's a chance at that, but it's unlikely. So, you know, as long as I see that. But if it is just, like, repeated spam, then, yeah, there's a chance I ban you guys. But, you know, you're hanging out here. That's all that matters. Why do you want to get banned? Can, can, can you answer why you want to get banned? Also, you'll get hit by the auto mod if you, if you keep spamming like that. You'll get hit with the auto mod before the mods actually get to take you out. No reason see that's where that's that's where I lose the desire to ban you see because I could ban you I should ban you but No reason just want to be all right. Uh, all right. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's what we're gonna do gamers poll Do we time out Chernobyl for 100,000 seconds Yes. No, God, no, this is funny. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. There we go. You guys decide. You guys are the deciding factor. So here's the thing. If anything, if there's any reason you shouldn't be doing that, it's because you could shy away future chatters. So that is a genuine concern. Don't, don't scare away other viewers because you're just spamming in chat. So please don't do that. It's funny for the bit. But don't just consistently do that because then people will pop in and be like, man, this chat's horrible. There's just people spamming stuff, you know? But I have a feeling the consensus will be high. <laughs> All right. The camera, the camera conversation here is, is tough. Say uh, this this camera's a struggle, right? Okay, can I fix the let me see if I can fix the camera partially. Um uh, it would have to be based on this if this is nearly equal to No, if the current arm length is nearly equal to the targets within like five units. Because if it is if it's not, then we'll adjust it. If it is, then we won't do anything. So that way it shouldn't... It shouldn't freak out as much. It just might have other problems in other places. Nope, it's still freaking out like crazy. Okay, so it, it, it's still jittery, but it's not as bad. Yeah, it's just really, like, sub-steppy. It's weird. I don't know why it does that. All right. Well, by by vote, by 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 poll, it seems like uh, seems like you might be taken out back here very soon, Chernobyl. Just as a warning, the chat is firing off their warning shot right now. Oh yeah, that's like worse. That's even more jittery and steppy. That's not what I want. Why is that so bad? Yeah, the camera is terrible. It's so jittery. I don't understand.
All right, I'm gonna make the executive. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end the poll. I'm gonna make the executive decision to uh, to time out Chernobyl. Just because people have stopped chatting, <laughs> because Chernobyl has taken over the chat. One hundred thousand seconds. Unable to timeout user. What do you mean unable to? Excuse me. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh. The user you're trying to timeout doesn't exist. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't exist, Chernobyl. You you literally don't exist. Unable to time out. I can't even do it. It's not possible. I have to ban you Okay, maybe if I do it from here The user you're trying to time out doesn't exist Why did it go for 600 seconds? It only went for six. That's not what it's okay It worked when I pressed it. That doesn't make any sense. I have no idea, but oh sevens I don't I, I what happened? Okay. Well, it didn't hit the other Chernobyl so we gotta we gotta hit the other Chernobyl too. We gotta take them out. Where is the other Chernobyl? I gotta get the. There it is. They asked for this, and I deliver what my fans desire. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh seven. We'll see you in a hundred thousand seconds. All right. <laughs> that was just that was chaos. All right. Either way, let's refocus. Hundred thousand seconds is just like twenty-eight hours. Yeah, and that's fair. That that that's reasonable. So if that's the case, maybe I should make it a million seconds because that's like eleven days. Because if I make it, if I make it a million seconds for like the redemption, then that makes it, because right now, yeah, if I think about it, 10,000 seconds isn't that long. So, I'll make it a million seconds. I'll make it, I'll make it a hundred thousand seconds. We'll start with like the, the one day ban. There we go. Fries are here, you're eating them one per chip. That is the most expensive fry redemption I've ever heard of. That's incredible. Sorry. Okay, we got a, a game dev time, guys. We're here to do game dev. I have one week. See, that's that was Chernobyl's executive plan there, was to, to distract me from getting work done in this video game. Okay, here, here's the deal. This, this camera is so annoying. This camera is unbelievably annoying right now. The only reason I'm doing the camera system this way is because the regular camera sucks. The regular spring arm is terrible in Unreal. And I don't want it to be terrible like that. But this is this is for us. We might have to do... I think we have to do the camera the other way. Alright, I think, uh, I think I'm going to bring in the other camera system. We're going to do this now before I get too involved with this. Alright. Uh, I have to do it from here. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are gonna waste all your points. If any of you ever want to be mod, this is- this is- this is gonna- this is gonna end well. Okay. Let's get the camera system in. It's annoying that this is necessary every time, but fine. Migrate it. Okay, into here, core, no, assets, select folder, yes, okay, cool, success, all right, now, uh, it's in here, yeah. what do you mean video paused, thanks for confirming, it was like the Netflix are you still watching thing, that was annoying, 
How did you even do the exploding character? I'm guessing you only know because of plates and stuff in being game. Well, I had to do it differently because the plates and stuff was easy because of the chaos destruction system in Unreal Engine 5, but this is Unreal Engine 4. So I created a destructible mesh and I, I actually did it in Blender. I went into Blender and I split up the mesh into a bunch of pieces with a fracture node in there. Uh, and then, oh, can I fracture mesh? Please. Oh God. No. No, this is gonna crash. Okay, this is gonna crash the editor. Whatever, you, you get it. You, you get it. I hope it's saved. I'm just gonna preemptively do that. All right. I hope that's saved. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I just, I split it up into a bunch of pieces. I made a destructible mesh. Why am I using Unreal Engine 4? Because for this project, it's better. There's less, it's, it's lighter weight. There's less stuff going on. There's no lighting in this game. So I don't need to be using Unreal Engine 5 because it's just too heavy and unnecessary. So it, it's better in this case. That's the thing. So I made Bark in Unreal Engine 4 because Unreal Engine 5 hadn't fully released yet. Uh, and that was pretty lighting intense, but it's still better off than using Unreal Engine 5's lighting system. So whenever I want to do a lighter weight game, I tend to use Unreal Engine 4 instead of 5. At least for now. Because it's uh, Unreal Engine 5 is made for AAA type stuff, and this is meant to be very simple. All right, where is my... Th whatever, you, you get it. The, it explodes, so all, literally all it is is just a bunch of pieces. In fact, I can I can actually... I can do that, I just did the wrong thing. So it's literally just a capsule, right? And then if I import... Oh, where did I put it? Is it on my desktop? It is. Uh, if I import this fracture, it's going to import a bunch of pieces. And then once this loads... There we go. So you'll see it's literally just split up into a bunch of pieces and then it just determines automatically where they, like how they should explode out. So that's all it is. And then when you land, it just explodes. And I have a, I have a post-processing on it for the outline and everything because the bean has an outline. So, yep. That's it. It's very simple. Uh, but it, it had to be done differently than before. Chernobyl bat. I Ooh. watch from the shadows. <laughs> I don't talk much. I just watch for any crime committed in my great city. I am the Chernobyl bat. Well, you're in the wrong place, Chernobyl bat, because this is not Chernobyl, but I, I hope you can see me in the distance far, far away. Lumen cool, but also not cool in the literal sense when it melts your PC. Yeah, exactly. So that's why, like, this game is meant to be a successor to Bean Game because everybody loved Bean Game, but Bean Game destroys PCs, and I don't want that to happen this time. Timeout evasion? Well, I mean, if they start doing the same things that they were doing, then yes, it's timeout evasion, and it'll be a million seconds instead of 100,000, but... Face cam keeps getting blurry. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It does not. It cannot. Can it? Wait, it might be able to. Did I set it back to autofocus? I did. Wait, it's always been on autofocus. I never changed that. Why is my face cam getting blurry? There's no reason for that. Face cam, focus. Camera, focus. Yeah, here, here's what we'll do. Alright, there we go. This is the new, this is the new camera setup. It, it'll never leave focus if I'm just always super zoomed in on my face. This is, this is wonderful. This is exactly, this is the Let's Play content, game dev super content that you've all been waiting for. More? I can't zoom. I literally can't zoom in anymore. That is the max. I can I can lean in. I can lean. I can't go any further than that. It's it's not an option. <laughs> um, maybe this will help though. This might help. I literally can't get any closer. <laughs> been a mod for what five plus years? So there's your answer. You've been a mod for five plus years. No. Yes? I don't know what we're- uh, my face cam's blurry again. I- I can see it now. I saw it that time. How did it get worse? How did that- how did that happen? Why? Hello? Alright, we're going out of autofocus, I guess. I don't know how to do that. Okay, we're just fully zoomed out. There we go, this is great. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, I am- I am adjusting- no, I'm not. I'm not adjusting manual focus. I can't tell. Alright, hold on. If I do... No, that's not it. Oh, it's this. There we go. Right? Did that do it? I can't tell. No, it didn't. I pressed it that time. 
it literally won't let me. Oh, now it will. There we go. There we go. We'll just be permanently blurred. That's the solution. There we go. Oh no, it fixed itself. Wait, you're not tell you're telling me it's still in autofocus? Hold on. There's no there's no way. I don't understand this camera. All right, we're gonna zoom in for this. Here's my hand. Here's my hand. All right. And now, I literally can't. You guys are gonna steal my DNA with this one. Why can't I change this? I'm pressing the one button that I know does this, and it's not doing. This is this is going. Well. All right, you know what? We're gonna go to the other. We're gonna go to the other one. All right. Look, this right here. That this is hand. Meet everybody. Meet hand. Hello, welcome. I literally can't. The one thing. Okay. What if I do this? Manual exposure. Movie recording. Choose mode. I can't choose mode. Oh, that's why. I li it's literally not an option. Alright, uh, hold on. We're gonna pop this out. And, uh, we're gonna do... I can't see. Okay. Please hit. Nope. Okay, we're gonna dis- Alright, I'm gonna disappear. Choose mode. Manual focus. Nope, that's manual exposure. Okay, this was a waste of time. Can I go to... I'm gonna figure this out, guys. It has to be this one. Yeah, it literally has to be this one. Oh god. Oh god, everything's moving. Okay, that should be fine. I'm back. Okay. At least it auto-reconnected. Now my camera's probably all off. Oh, we're still super zoomed in. This is beautiful. Oh, it's so hot in here now. Okay, is the manual focus working? It is not. What if I press the button again? I can't tell if it's actually pressing or not. Why is this not working? I Yes, I see that you guys are screaming hydrate. You're going to have to wait on that one. I'm sorry. But, uh... I literally... What if I hold it? What if I hold the manual focus button? I li that can't that doesn't work. Okay, well, uh, that's just how that's gonna be then, I guess. Whew. Oh, I am so sweaty now. It just got significantly hotter in like the span of two minutes. All right, well, that's just gonna if I go out of focus, I go out of focus. I guess that's just gonna be how it is now. Um, I'm just gonna have to deal with that. All right, cheers, everybody. Yes, dog in the background. I'm going to wipe my sweat off of my forehead now. Dog, what's up? How you doing, buddy? He's going to get comfy. There he goes. And he plopped. All right, we're good. We're just going to carry on. We need to carry on. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? That happened. And if I blur out more, then oh well. I don't know what causes that. It's like a lighting issue or something. Why does it randomly blur? I don't get it. You know, wait, here, here's what we'll do. We'll, let's just look up. Why does Canon EOS M50 Mark II randomly unfocus? Nope, that's not it. Okay, P yes, they're talking about people being idiots. Nope, that's not helpful. Well, oh well. <laughs> I don't care. There it goes again. It did it again. Why? What did- what, nothing is- there should be no- that shouldn't happen. What if I do this? Because it wasn't doing this for like a few days. So if I do that... My light's in a different position. It's back to where it was. I moved my light. But now it's, now it's different. My light has been adjusted. I have been adjusted. There should be no more problems. This should be perfectly fine. All right, back to game dev. This is, this is the important part. Okay, we have one week to do this. Okay, I got my camera system in. We got to bring in the camera system fully and let's actually use it. All right. 
uh, here. And then, I don't remember how this works. The, this camera system is weird. Uh, it's a, it's a bit of a struggle, but... Okay, if I get system for camera... BP camera... Why is this bad? Wait, what? Why? Is it gonna be bugged again? Why is it bugged? This, this only happens sometimes. Why? What, what changed? I literally did exactly what it wanted me to. It, it's just not detecting it. This is so stupid. Okay, we have to delete it again. I, I've done this several times. It worked once and sometimes it just doesn't work. That's so annoying. I love this camera system and I hate this camera system at the same time. Very frustrating. In fact, I should probably take the camera system directly from... Uh, the Thankmas game, because that's where it was the best. Let's just dismiss these. Okay, let me bring in... Oh, wait, no, I know why. But I will still do that. Okay, if I go to Thankmas game 2023, that was the best version of that camera system, because I made a lot of adjustments to it. But wonder what it would be like to be impaled by flaming spikes. Um, spiky, spicy, very painful... Never had that thought in my life. You have some weird thoughts, Maker. You've beat the system. Uh, no, you're just... Your account is broken, Liquidator. All right, let's... Time out. Let's see if it'll work this time. Now it worked! Yay, I did it! <laughs> it worked! That time, you just had to leave and come back, apparently. All right, 100,000 seconds, 07, 07. I don't know why your account just apparently just didn't exist last time. Okay, there we go. All right. Now let's transfer, what is, it? leave that, okay. Here's uh, Thankmas game. If I take this camera system, spline camera system and migrate, no, not all. Why does it do that? No. Just the spline camera system. This is so annoying. Spline camera system, that is it. Okay. Bean challenge there. It's because it wasn't a content folder before. Now this went to a content folder and now... Did it? Wait, because it didn't. It literally, it literally didn't. Did I put it in the right folder? I had to have, right? Unless it went to the... It might have gone to the wrong folder. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Why is this the most frustrating part? Oh my god, it did. It went to the wrong folder. Okay, I'm an idiot. Yeah, and there's nothing there. Uh, why? <laughs> why does this keep happening? Oh, now it's bugged. God, I hate the way Unreal handles folders. It's so stupid. Go away. It won't go away. Alright, we're gonna close this, and we're gonna do this, this... Guys, this is what game dev looks like. You know, for anybody who's ever questioning, I wanna do game dev, this is what you're getting yourself into, alright? This is the nightmare that you're getting yourself into. Get rid of the spline camera system. Thank you. Go here. Open it back up. Now, from here... Migrate it. Don't save the house. Whatever, just literally only the spline camera system right here wherever it is spline camera system okay migrate it into migrate it to the content folder oh it's because it's in here it's because it's from unreal Engine 5. i literally can't do that okay fine so we're gonna have to do it that's so stupid i love annoying things seems awful good thing i don't have to learn it anytime soon wink 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 uh, so I may or may not have told Andres that uh, it won't be long until he is forced to learn game dev. As a game dev, can confirm. There's usually not this many problems, still a lot of them. That's not necessarily true. Uh, Maker, if that's the case, you have not experienced true game dev just yet. Alright, so if I migrate this... Just that. Okay. To here, in the content folder, it'll work. So annoying. <laughs> it's so specific. The thing that, the, the problem that I have with game dev stuff like this 
is the specifics of it all. If, like, syntax in, in, in and of itself, yeah, see, there we go, now it worked magically that time. The syntax of situations is so unbelievably specific at times that it's just annoying. It's like, it, it's like the program doesn't have any brains, which it doesn't, but it seems like it should, you know, being the industry-leading software. I don't know, is, is Unreal the industry leading? I know Unity and Unreal have been at the top forever. I don't know if one is more successful than the other, but... Alright, there we go. Now I can fix up redirectors. There we go. Now, in here, let me drop in... The, okay, not this one. First, this one. Okay, now it's not a buggy piece of garbage. There we go. Alright. Oh, that's not snapping correctly. Snap correctly, please. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Cool. This is fine. Let me specify that it is a player that it's going to be using. Uh, where is that? Here. Type character. Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. It's going to follow that around. And now we just need to place our first piece in here, which is this. Camera, no, uh, not static camera, this. Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, so this is where things get interesting, because this is complicated. This is a complicated mess right here. So I don't even know what the second uh, trigger is for, but what I'll do is move this over here, just out of the way, because it doesn't matter yet. You know, it needs more mainstream. I figure it is for, like, indie devs. That makes sense. But I believe, maybe I'm wrong, Unreal is the industry standard for, like, big corporations or, like, big studios, game dev studios, that aren't using their own custom-built engine. That's my understanding of it. Because I know Unity is, is really big in the indie game space. I like to take a look at the Giants software game engine. The Giants software game engine. Giants Software Game Engine. What does Giants Software make? They made Farming Simulator? Um, I know nothing about them or their game engine. <laughs> okay, how does this work? So if I do this, I always have to rewrite my understanding of this camera system in my brain every time I use it. Because the idea is... It's spline-based, so... It's weird. Okay, if I connect this to this camera, this is the start camera. Now I hit play. What does this look like? Okay. And down here, it looks like this. Okay, that's weird. So now I have to figure out the positioning again. Okay, so that's too wide. I don't want it to be all the way to the edge. I want it to... If I take this, can I move it in by a couple hundred, maybe? One, two. And take this. One, two. And then take the whole thing. I guess the whole thing should be able to go all the way back. Let's see. Whoa, 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 that trips me out. Okay, so it definitely needs to have a space, uh, an amount of spacing between the character. I guess that is better. It's an automatic camera, so moving the mouse doesn't do anything. I do want you to be able to look around, so I'll, I'll add that eventually. Also, the, the, the camera doesn't have the same FOV. I want to change that. I had it set to 110, I believe, or 100. 110 or 100. Let's find out. 110. Okay. That's better. Because then it zooms out. It seems it seems more zoomed out than it is. Okay, so this is too low for sure. One, two. One, two, three, maybe? Okay, I need to figure out the zooming away. Because there's a big problem with like this, when when you're right underneath the camera, that's a big problem that people had in Bean Game, because that's when the camera would jitter a bunch, and I need to change the way that that functions. 
but for now, this is at least a little bit better. Also, we're way too high up. So do I just keep the camera? No, because the camera needs to be able to go that high. It's tough because I want you to be able to, I don't know. The way that the camera system works is always very difficult. Okay, so if I do that, then that's more. Okay, now I need to find out how does how do I zoom away from the player? I guess I could just add a spring arm to it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could just mess with the spring arm here. So if I add whatever it is, 35, 35, and like 300, I do need to change the zooming. Whoa, I'm really, I'm out of bounds now from that. That's kind of annoying. Okay, but at least that's better. That's, that's kind of back to the correct positioning. It's just I didn't need to zoom it back. So not this. Because it doesn't do collision test. Oh, but that's that's a problem then, because then it's not offset. So I guess the X also needs to be offset. 35? No, it'd be negative, what, like 100? Maybe? Maybe more than that? It's very hard to tell. Okay, so I want it to be like negative 500. There we go. And then we're just back out of bounds again. Okay, so that's a problem. Because that's not how I want it to be. I want it to be... Because that's based on rotation. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, can the target offset be negative 500? I don't remember how... It's got spring arms suck. They're great and they suck at the same time. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so that's how that works. So this just needs to be, what, like negative 200? Maybe. That's better, but it's following the character incorrectly now because it, it looks like it's looking down at it and that's not what I want. But at least the offset's correct. So now I need, in this, I need this to look at the player differently. So tracking player offset up by what, 200, probably. Whoa, not quite. Maybe like 50. <laughs> Nope, it's still tracking the wrong point now. Yep, that looks off because of that. Oh, that's annoying. Maybe 100? Unless, yeah, if that fixes it, then that's great. Kind of? No, it's still tracking, like, the wrong center point now because of that. And I guess that's fine. Oh, now we're out of bounds. Yeah, no, the tracking can't, it can't do that. Alright, so this needs to be the same, and then this needs to be just like that. So then at least the camera positioning is correct. Also, this could probably be stronger now, 50-50. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of more over the shoulder. It just needs to be distant, which is a problem in this case. So, tracking player offset would be, what, 100 or whatever I said, 200? Is that forward? Probably forward. Yeah, that's forward. So, negative 200. Because if we're tracking like that... Whoa. No, okay, that's wrong. So, not that, but it will be negative 200. Just that needs to be the track offset. Spline, rail depth. Be negative 200. There we go. Nope, that didn't work. Did it work? Kind of worked. God, it's hard to tell. Yeah, so that works. It just it needs to be further, doesn't it? Because <sighs> then I'm out of bounds. It needs to be further back. Let's see what happens at like 500. Yeah, there we go. That's more zoomed out. Okay, so this is where this is where things get difficult, because this needs to be much further forward. To. Three. In fact, it probably at like the middle of the room is like the furthest back the camera can go. And then this needs to be reset. How do I do that? Reset to automatic tangent. Unclamped. So then when I get here, 
I'm still going out of bounds. Oh, that's frustrating. That's so frustrating. Okay, but here... This needs to go for much further forward. Which doesn't make sense. Oh, that's... I don't like... Like, I love this system, and I, uh, but I hate it at the same time. Because, okay, right here, this is like the maximum point. Yeah, that is the maximum point right there. This is as far as the camera for will go forward. And the problem with that is getting this track to... Okay, here's what we can do. If I do this, where it's like a small area, right, then it'll be at this angle. So I'll have like a fixed camera point in each room that the camera kind of follows. So if I do... Unless that's not how this works. If this works like this... Okay, can I... Because if I do this... And then I add a, add a point. Can I not add a point? Is that not a thing in this? Is it because I'm not in this? No, I just can't add points. Really? Why not? Why can't you add points in this? That's... I feel like that's not correct. No, that just... Uh, uh, why can't I add spline points? Hello? Does it have a maximum amount of of spline points. I don't know why I can't do that. I feel like that's very normal to be able to add more spline points and it's just not letting me. Unless I'm stupid and I'm hitting the wrong button. Wait, shift alt does it? Why? That was not the case before. Shift alt adds a new spline point. That's not how it's supposed to be, but okay, fine, whatever. Okay, so assuming that this works, then I can make, like, some really weird rail path for the camera to follow to get us into this area. And this could even go, like, up here or something. It's not following. The camera's not following over to there. So it works, it doesn't work. It's all over the place. Oh, that's a mess. Okay. Gave up on game dev, so if anyone wants to create a horror game that involves weeping angels and wendigos, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's very common uh, horror game elements, so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Very easily. I'd probably... I've, I've done Weeping Angel type stuff in the past. Need to learn to use splines and raycasts. Also, how to import Blender files properly. Blender files are so annoying. Getting things in and out of Blender is annoying. But once you get the hang of it, it's extremely useful. Didn't have the patience. You wanted a horror game that involved you being hunted by Wendigos. And then you come in contact with Weeping Angels. That sounds awesome. And you should definitely try it again if you have the willpower. <laughs> Alright, this is extreme. This is frustrating right here. This stupid spline camera system. Okay, hold on. If I... Let me undo that. What happens if I do this? If I just make this fill the space more? No, it still won't pass through this room. It's like this is my limit point right here. So that's why you can't use multiple spline points, I think. No? Wait a second, that's even more confusing. <sighs> okay, there's gotta be a different- maybe I need to use a different camera piece. Is it this one? What's this? Camera character BP. No. Static camera... No. Yeah, no, this is the only one that uses the spline. So... Am I stupid or is this not making sense? Because the, the problem is getting the offset correct, right? So if I, if I just place this here and I make this, here's the camera. It is the start camera. And the camera should be right here. Yes. That's fine. So this is just like a stationary camera right here. Now I do have to fix the offset. The offset is partially correct, at least like it's pointing partially over the shoulder. 
right? And if I were to zoom, then that would work like that. But right now, this it's very it's a very slow response, which is annoying, and I need to change that. So let's get the camera lag speed to 15 and this to 25. Was that how it was? I think that was how it was. Yeah, that's better. That's much better for this type of game because it needs to be pretty responsive. It also feels like that didn't do much. Why didn't that do that much? Really? That rotation lag is extremely slow. If I make this 50, what's it going to do? Okay, it's not updating. It's just not. That's why. So if I take the camera, is there an option in here or something? I could use fade in, which is something. Interesting. I kind of like that, actually. That's really That's got a really nice look to it, but whatever. I'll leave that for now. Uh, why? Why is there nothing for... Okay, it's got to be in here, right? Unless this is attached to... It probably is. If I... Find references... Yeah, I'm setting the lag speed. So that is... Annoying. The way that this works is really frustrating. Okay. Yeah, everybody's lurking because I actually started making progress, so now everybody's just kind of chilling. Is camera view, snap camera spline, no. What happens if I do that? What happens if I snap to the camera spline? Why is this so heavily delayed? There's got to be a thing in here that uses, that's like clamping it. Okay, parameters, lag, camera lag speed, find... That's being clamped, right? It's not. Why? It's taking it from the camera. It's not being clamped, so how is it stopping it from looking nice? I was just eating, okay. <laughs> Good news, Papa Productions is back home safe and sound. Let's go, everybody. Party. Party hard for that. We, we need to get a... Uh, poggies! P -p -p poggies! Super Poggies. Uh, what's this one? There we go. Yeah, let's go! Where's the other one? It's this. Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Why is this... Why is this so terrible? This... Okay, is the camera lag speed part of that? Because that wouldn't make sense. It's not. It's just... This is dumb. It's not controlling it correctly it's just not updating the lag correctly so if I make this 15 and 25 by default does that help nope that did nothing of course there's got to be another spline that I'm just not seeing or er, spline spring arm nope why why is this so dumb Is it the blend time or something? Is there something else? There's something else that's messing with it, and I don't know what it is. No, that's all fine. There's camera clamping, which is great. Interp speed. Oh, this. There it is. No. Yep. There it is. Okay. That's better. I don't know why those were different. That doesn't make any sense. But okay, there we go. There we go. So that's that's what I was looking for before. There's just that little bit of sway, but mostly it's just kind of like that. Okay, cool. But that's just stationary. So how what is the difference between these? What is this one? Which one? Okay, this is the depth. This... Wait, no. That's not helpful. How am I supposed to know? Okay, one of them is green. Which one's green? Okay, the spline is white. The depth is green. 
Depth is green. Okay, how does the depth work? Because the depth doesn't really make that much sense. So if I, I'm assuming it's like this. So if I were to do this, and this, and this, then it should follow this and the, the depth should not concern me at all. Yeah, okay. So that's fine, but that's just, whoa, why does that put us over here? Hello? Why is it inverted? Why is that inverted? That doesn't make any sense. If I go this way, it puts us over here. How does that work? What? Oh, it's because it's... Okay, it's snapping to spline. So if I get rid of the snap to spline... There we go. That makes more sense. I don't know why that works like that, but... Okay. At least that makes more sense now, the way that that's working. The, the rotating quickly around doesn't really make sense, but... Snap camera spline, offset, I'm not going to do that. Tracking player, camera rotation, tracking player, offset. This is where this needs to come in. This needs to be off like negative 200. And it's, nope, because that's only on the X. That's not going to work. I need it to be tracking player, offset, based on the direction we're facing. To keep it 200 away from us. Which is where the depth offset comes into play, but that is not what I want either. So that's what it... Okay, that's how this works. So it just... The depth is... It stays all the way around. Okay, I get that more, at least. So I, I really shouldn't have any depth. Or at least not much. Because the depth is what's causing some of the problems. So if I if I get rid of the depth entirely, how's that look? Yeah, now we're just directly above it. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so if there's no depth, then it literally just follows a track like normal. Which is what I want. Okay. And then the camera offset would be negative 200. Nope. Yes. Okay. So that's where the depth comes in. So if I make the camera offset negative 200. But that's only on the X. Or is that X from player? That's really hard to tell. Okay. The camera's way too high right now. So if I bring this down to like here and then I bring this down there we go no that messes with me because then there's that the way that the camera because then you can be directly underneath it which is a huge problem I hate these camera systems it's very frustrating Yeah, that's very trippy. Oh, I want to go back to when I had regular control over the camera. It's messing with me even more. Oh, the way spline cameras work is so frustrating. What if I do it on the, the depth offset? Oh, I just realized the camera offset wasn't even on, so it wasn't even doing anything. So the depth offset is what does it. I mean, I could do it with the camera offset as well. But there we go. Camera depth. Camera depth kind of fixes it. The way that it snaps around on the spline is very annoying. That's where snap to camera spline comes in. But then, then, we, then this happens. Like, how does that make any sense? Like, why am I over here? Why is it inverted when I snap to camera spline? Distance offset, maybe negative one? I don't know if that... 
Is that I'm sure that's just adding, not multiplying. Yeah, no, that's just adding. Okay. That's a problem. So spline snap spline camera. If I find this, it's just doing it in the scene camera. Okay. So in here, snap spline camera, wherever that is. Let's fade in. Where is this? Hello. Um, hello. Am I an idiot? I am. But what is it called? Snap camera spline. Can I search? Good. Snap camera spline. Find it. Okay. If we do, then. Okay, it's snapping like that. Just the long side. It's still doing this. Snap camera spline distance offset. So the problem is that it needs to take this and then get the forward. Ve I, I'm going to assume that I can do this. Get forward vector times negative one. And then this. How would I do that? This times? Because I need this to be inverted, but not the whole thing, just the forward vector. So I guess it would be plus this times, yeah, it would be plus this times this. Okay. Plus this times this. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Cool, so that, that inverted, I think, unless, wait, unless I turned it off. I did turn it off. Okay, but at least, oh, that did not work. That just multiplied it tenfold. That's not good. You broke farming simulator. You were driving, ran over an invisible launch pad, apparently, and it just launched you into the air where you've been for five minutes. That's like one of my favorite clips of mine in uh, Sons of the Forest when I jumped on the thing and didn't take any fall damage. Those things flying in video games where you're not meant to be flying like that is just the best. Which, I mean, hey, if you can break a AAA game like that, congratulations. Good job. Okay, that clearly is not doing what I wanted to do, so fine, whatever. Just ignore that, that's fine. But if I make it snap like that, it wants me to be... I don't understand that, because that's not snapping. Okay, it's got to be the rail offset. It's got to be that, right? Yeah. Okay, because now it's actually snapping in the correct area. No, but it's still going back. Never mind, I'm a liar. Okay, we're not going to keep it snapped, and it's still kind of flying all over the place anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Alright, this needs to be back to 5. The rotation is what needs to stay that way. But then this way, at least it'll move around normally, kind of, and not like super snap in place. Then there's problems like that still, though. You have to go record now, so you'll hang out once you're done. All right, I'll see you in a bit, Kate. Appreciate you. All right. Oh, this is frustrating. I just want to have it work the other way. It's so much better the other way. What if I turn this? What if I get rid of this? Does it go back to the other way? It does. Okay. This way is so much better. You have so much more control over where you're going. It's just jittery. Oh, now it's bugging out because I just gonna. All right, you know, I'm gonna go pee. I'll be back, guys. Here, enjoy. And enjoy this monstrosity right here. Just look, look at this mess. There you go. I'll be back.
Okay, Doggo left, apparently. Sag. Uh, alright. <laughs> oh my god, so many dances. Jesus. Um, so, I just thought of something from earlier. Uh, Jaunch said that my voice is soothing, and it just now made me think. So, a, a while ago, I was working uh, at a restaurant. Uh, as a, a restaurant. A food, uh, food chain. Very popular food chain. Um... And they put me on the drive-through at one point, and I hated the drive. I hated the. <sighs> wow, I wish I could speak. I hated working the drive-through. I hated trying to uh, trying to take orders and do drinks and all that at the same time. It was just a miserable experience. But uh, I, that meant that I was talking on the intercom, and there was a point because I was doing. It, I only did it for like a day. I did it for like three or four hours one day and then they took me off of it because I think they realized that I wasn't good at it but uh, like a few hours in one of my co-workers was like dude you have a great voice you should do like a podcast or something <laughs> and I was like I don't know why everybody seems to agree that I have like a podcasting voice and I think it's just because it's kind of low ish but it, it, that's like the most common compliment I get, which is that I have a nice voice, and I it, it's weird because it's like I feel like I feel like it's just a super normal voice, and there are many people with way more soothing, way better sounding voices than mine. But I mean, I'll take it. I guess I'll take what I can get. All right, this. Oh, okay. Here's the... all right. I'm gonna have you guys decide. You guys are gonna be the determining factor here. Okay, look, here's the way that the camera, oh, where's, where am I? Here's the, the way that the camera works right now. It is not using the default functionality. And the reason it's not using the default functionality is so I can have smooth transitions away from blocking. So if I were to go like this, no, this isn't a good example. Um, yeah, so if I'm like this and then I move quickly, you can see it smoothly moves into place. It smoothly fades into place. Uh, also, I can look behind walls like this and it doesn't snap out of the way, you know? Oh god, okay, that's that's a bunch of errors. Okay, hold on, I ca I'll catch up with you guys for a second and then we'll carry on there. Do you realize you can just add smoothing to the regular camera? Maker, you can't. You can't. I will show you why you just can't in a moment. Because I tried that. It doesn't just work like that. I wish it did. It doesn't just work that easily. Po I agree podcast voice yeah I, I I get that I think a lot of that's my microphone too because this is very like it's it's modified I have my voice modified a bit to to enhance the tones correctly but you know say something that's been on your mind since you started watching your voice is calming cross between my skirm and mark plier yeah I'm Bob plier I'll take that I'll take Bob plier I feel like when I do when I speak like this normally I kind of get that I don't know about Bob I wish I had Bob's laugh. God, I wish I had Bob's laugh. Um, but I feel like when I do like horror games and stuff, I absolutely have Ethan's voice because it's very chaotic and all over the place and higher pitched. But when I do stuff like this, it's more deep and calm. It's not Markiplier low. Jacob has Markiplier's voice. I wish. I wish I could get down there. Who's Bob? Uh, yeah, Bob. Bob Skirms. You know who Bob is. Don't don't lie to us. You know who Bob is. Uh, okay, so look, here's here's the camera issue right now. If I go to, if I remove the spring current spring arm control and I just turn on collision testing, and th this is just a normal spring arm third person camera. If I go here, it just snaps to here, and then I do this, and it snaps back, and that is very jarring. All I wanted to do was make it so that it would smooth its way out from there when it lets go. But you can't just do that. It doesn't just work like that. The camera is smoothed out right now, but collision is not smooth. That's where it's frustrating. And then also, I can't have it like, okay, if I go down, or if I, if I go up and around to be over here, right, if I go here, now I can't put the camera behind this wall anymore because it's always collision testing. That's the problem. That's the big problem. So I could just leave it like this, but then there are some really random, jarring, frustrating camera moments that I don't want to deal with. It works best 
but it's very frustrating at certain angles. At least you can see through the character at certain points when the camera is like really in a frustrating viewpoint, but that's why I'm trying to do it the other way with this other method that uses a custom spring arm that doesn't do collision test always. But then there's random jittering. But see, so this is smoother. So if it hits here, it snaps to it. But then if it lets go, it smooths its way out, which is way nicer. Um, and then everything else is basically the same. But then if I go up here instead, I can look behind the wall and it doesn't snap to it. That part is really annoying. But then we have this problem where it does this weird jittering sometimes. And there are other very frustrating snapping issues that just don't make sense. I don't get it. I don't know why it's an issue. Bob the Not Necromancer. Is that a reference? I don't understand that reference. I wish I understood that reference. I need to catch up on Distractable. There's probably a lot of Distractable references that I don't get now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Every time you yell, you decide to promote the best drink ever. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Stream Elements, for, uh, for screaming about Debbie, which I just took a sip of right now. And when you write, you write. I need a you write button. Is Okay, I have space here. You write. You write. Oh, that was too delayed. You write. You write. You write. You, 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 you write. 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 Okay, I thought that was going to stop it, but it didn't. Okay, there we go. There's a couple you writes for you guys. All right, so you can see the issue here. The, it's, the, it's the snappiness of it. If I could fix the snappiness of it, then it would be perfectly fine, and I would be very happy with the system. This will get rid of some of the snappiness, but then it'll create seizure, seizure jitters that are even more frustrating. All right, so it, it's not it's not snappy anymore. That fixed the, the issue of the weird snappiness. But, I mean, okay, not entirely, because it still has issues like that. And then there was all kinds of, like, fuzziness that doesn't make any sense. That part I don't understand. I can I can kind of explain it. Okay, here's the thing. I, I don't like this. I'm not doing this camera system. No, it's getting out of here. Nope, that's the wrong one. No, that is the right one. Yeah, no, I'm not using that camera system. That's that's too much chaos. I don't like it. It's going to be too painful to do. It's not a reference. It's a gif you found about Bob the Necromancer. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, that's still technically a reference, but... All right. So this, this looks fine. The motion blur is insanely high. Can I turn down the motion blur just a bit? Blur amounts, make this like 0 0.2. Because I do like motion blur. It'll be a setting later, but for now, oh, that's that's too low now. See, it's really hard to get right. I guess for a platformer, you shouldn't really have motion blur. Okay, that's, that's fine, I guess, for now. I don't know. Yeah, so I, I I did show you why I can't smooth the camera maker. I I just did that. So this is how it is. This is how it's smoothed right now. Um, I mean, I guess I could also show you the problem with trying to smooth the camera normally, just always. Because if I do this, whoops. If I do this, and just skip all of that. Okay. Well, that's. Okay, right, so here, here's the first problem, right? If I just don't do any collision testing, then we can see through walls, which I'd prefer to not do. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I would much prefer not being able to see through the geometry of the world, you know? And there are other ways I could adjust it. But see, this works best because then you have the ability to, like, zoom around. But it also works worst because then you can zoom around and see other things you're not supposed to see yet. So, like, you could literally do this and then see how to pass the next area, which I don't want you to be able to do. So, I have to do some sort of collision testing. But if I just turn on collision testing like normal with the spring arm, then there is no smoothing. The camera's smooth, right? The camera rotation and the, the player movement, that's all smoothed out. But collision testing snaps back and forth. And that's extremely jarring and frustrating. So, it works. And it, there's no jitters. But it looks very weird, and also I can't look behind walls now. I can't look behind other walls. So I tried to compensate for that 
by turning off the default do collision test, which we do use more later. But first, it's scanning around, just like a sphere around the camera, if it hits anything. So, now it hits something, it snaps into place like it did before, but now when I let go, it smooths its way back out, which looks way nicer. That's smooth, right? But, now the problem is all of the other things. Like, the random jitters in certain angles, like this. That doesn't make any sense. Why is that happening? I have no idea. When it hits two objects, I think that's part of it. When it hits two positions, it really freaks out. Um, which is frustrating, because there's not really anything I can do about that. Certain things... Uh, where's a good example of it? Yeah, like there. Like, the whole world's vibrating. Like, what do I do about that? You know? And so that's why this... This would be perfect. But... Because of those issues, I can't just smooth the camera. Plus, SpringArm doesn't have an option for smoothing outside of the camera lag, which it does not account for collision test smoothing as well. So it's a huge issue. It's a very simple thing, but it needs to feel right. And the, I think the biggest problem is the probe size. We're using the collision test, but if I turn off the collision test entirely, then it causes even more problems. So... Because if I just if I just don't do any collision testing at all, then we have this problem where it just doesn't do anything, right? That it's pointless. It does absolutely nothing. But then I did this other way, which does a sphere trace from the start. Okay, so instead of doing the regular collision testing, we'll do a custom collision test right here, right? So we're gonna scan for from the spring arm to the camera. And if there's any point along that path, with a radius of double the probe size, if there's any point along that path that we hit, after we've determined that we're not trying to see behind a wall, then we can take that point, um, and that impact point becomes our new location for the camera. So we need to find the distance for that. So I guess I could just do... That's that minus that, but that's not how I want to do that now, so it would just be distance, so I could just do that. Um, and then if that's the case, then I do this, and if it's not the case, then I do this. So now this is custom collision test, which does the same thing. This does the exact same thing, right? Let's see if that took care of the jitters, because I tried this before, and there was a reason I didn't stick with it. Yeah, so it, it, it does it even worse. It has, it has even worth, worse issues with it. Do seeing through walls, why not put separate level and separate worlds? I'm not going to. I don't want to. So here's the thing. I am going to do that. Y yes. But on the current level, if you are able to see through walls, then you're able to see ahead in the level. Like these, there are going to be multiple levels, but no matter what, you're still able to see ahead in the level. So that's still a problem. And I don't want you to be able to do that. Because yeah, there is fog in the current level that you can't see past, but I don't want you to be able to see even a little bit ahead, you know? How many times does someone other than me put, and Apple put something, said something along those lines? What vibrator simulator? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. So, the other thing about this is... Right now, it's also snapping always. So, if I remove the snapping at all... It'll fix the the seizure portion of it, but then you get this little clipping in the process, right? So then it's all smooth, but you get this clipping during the process. I believe, yeah, that, well, nope, it still has seizures sometimes. It, it helps it, but it's not better. That part sucks. I thought that might have helped it, and I was just avoiding because of that, but no. Uh, I think, okay, so the biggest problem with that is that, okay, it's checking this every time. So if I just do a boolean, I'll just use the once boolean that I have here. If it did hit, then it's true. If it didn't hit, then it's false. Uh, and then we'll check here at the beginning, is once active? If it is, <clears throat> then we're just going to skip to this to make sure it's still active. If not, we're going to do this test to begin with, and then that'll help. I think get rid of some of that, but it's still it's still doing the smoothing issue, so that's still that's still not great. But then at least okay there now at least the okay the seizure has been fixed. 
but now we're clipping through for a second, which is equally as annoying. And I don't want to do that. I'd much prefer to not do that. I can make the probe size a bit smaller. Now, if I'm going to do it like this, I could literally just use the regular probe size instead of double the probe size, which will make it better. But the clipping is still an issue. It's smoother, but you clip through objects. Which I would much prefer that we don't do. Snapping and seizures reminds you of middle school. So Maker, you can see the issue now, right? Th this is this is fine up until it's not fine. <laughs> and there are random little seizures that happen. So I can partially solve this by forcing it to snap. But then it's more likely to have seizures. Which I don't want it to do. Because who wants it to have seizures? Right, like that. Like, really? It's just vibrating. It's just vibrating. And it's still also partially clipping into the ceiling at times. But that part's also really frustrating. Yeah, like that. Why am I clipping into the wall there? Like, that shouldn't be happening. But it is. So I shouldn't... That shouldn't be happening no matter what. So that's why I keep going back... Instead of doing custom collision testing like this... I keep going back to using its default collision testing, which is really well done, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> but then the problem with that is literally everything else. I guess I could solve it by... Here's one thing I could do. If I go back to this method, then I could just subtract the probe size potentially from the final amount but that might also break it partially yeah because then it starts then it starts having more seizures which is lovely but then at least it won't s stay out of I don't know I think if the camera is past the level boundary then it just doesn't show what's ahead I don't know how you would do that yeah that's why I don't want to do that I don't want it to leave the level boundary I would much prefer that it doesn't ever leave the level boundary. The other thing that I could potentially do, if I just leave this to do this, and then instead of snapping it, I just let it do it smoothly like it was doing. And if I go back to this, this is the same method, it just, it just allows for that to happen, which is annoying, but at least it works is I could apply the same occlusion masking that I'm doing for the character to the actual walls of the place. Which would work. So if I go in here, and I bring in... Really? Is it... Yeah. No? Okay, fine. I have to drag it in. For... I don't know why it can't access it. That's annoying. But I have a function for occlusion. But if I bring this in and I make it an opacity mask here like this it's at such a short distance that it won't really affect it but if we get super close you'll see it starts to mask out so then at least when this happens you can see that it's like it, it doesn't seem super unintentional so you can kind of see through walls a little bit but that is also not preferable I'd rather you not be able to see through walls But at least then it doesn't feel horrible. I'm going to I'm going old school to fix seizures by giving out more seizures. Hey, you know, sometimes sometimes you gotta break a few eggs, you know? Yeah, see this doesn't that doesn't work because I don't I won't want you to be able to see out of bounds. I hate that you can see out of bounds in this situation. Is it also going to be a bean? Yes, this is going to stay a bean. <laughs> Welcome in, can of beans. Uh, yes, this this is you're going to stay a bean here. Not not a real bean. This is just a capsule bean, but you know it's bean enough. The smoothing is so nice until that happens, and it's so frustrating. Uh, okay, can I please... I mean, okay, this I'm fine with. I'm fine with keeping that function there. And I should also probably apply it to the material of this as well. Yeah. Um, which means I just need to take this again into here. 
make it masked, and then go from there. Nope, this masked. Cool. Apply that. Sweet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you guys, everybody spam beans. Spam beans in chat. Many beans everywhere. Okay, so this, now, if it'll apply to the spikes as well, you'll occlude through them if you slide through them. I don't really like that, because you can see through the wall. I don't like being able to see through the wall. That doesn't feel right. It's better in some circumstances, but overall, it's very annoying. <sighs> if I could just... If I could just get rid of the smoothing here, if this would just work the way that it should, then everything would be fine. But instead, it causes seizures. Okay, and then I could get rid of the... I can get rid of that there. Have you played the amazing game, I am Bean? They were talking about that, apparently, uh... I, I don't know who's gonna play it in that group, if you're all gonna try to play it. Um... But, uh, a couple people from, uh... Uh, Jaunch, who we, we raided the other night, um... Said that they might, they might check it out, so... There's a chance, but, uh, it will blow up your PC if you're not careful. And try not to turn on ray tracing. <laughs> You and John, you think? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, okay, someone is doing something with some saw. That sounded like horrible scraping noises. We love infecting people with beans. You guys do love. Okay, so for context, for those of you who are new around here, uh, I made a game for Jacksepticeye, and I made a video about making that game. And that video did fairly well. It did well enough to where Top of the Morning Coffee reached out to me and sent me a coffee box, which I still have and I'm still picking away at. Um, what, yes, I'm still listening to the video in the background, YouTube. Thank you. I know. Um, and then apparently that did well enough. So I think either one of the mod, one of Sean's mods or someone at Top of the Morning Coffee reached out to Sean and said, hey, you should play this. So he played it. And then a bunch of people came over from that to watch the making of video. So, now that's who most of the people watching are, are from, uh, from the Bean Games. So we have a very large affiliation with Beans around here. Because everybody loves Beans. You sped run I am Bean. Yeah, because he did a speed run competition and it got down to like 17 seconds, 14 seconds, I don't even remember. It was really stupid. Because <laughs> that game should probably take like 20 minutes to beat normally. Also, Teeth T. Uh, Teeth T did not come from anything. It can't, Teeth T came from your insane brains. It means nothing. What did that even... What caused that? Is it something that I said? Is Did Teeth T come from something that I said? Because I, I do not ever remember saying anything about Teeth T. I will say that right now. Your model will break. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Just, uh, just put it a PNG of a bean. And that, that <laughs> that'll be good enough for that for that small period on stream. Uh, okay, okay. How do I how do I fix this? How do I fix this? How do I fix this? How do I stop this from having seizures? We need to figure this out quickly. I don't know how long stream is gonna be today. I might just go all day because I'm gonna be working on it all day anyway, so I might as well. It's gonna it's starting to get really hot though. It's 90 out. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. This is ridiculous because this is snap. Okay, when is it? Okay, it's it, something is happening where it's disconnecting from the snap. So whenever the seizure happens, okay, so right now it's not connected to anything. That's what the hellos are on the side. Now that should go away. All those hellos should go away. Okay, good. Those are all gone. Now. Okay, they come back. Okay, yeah, so this right here. Okay, I need to I need to read the values to me because it's having a seizure there and I don't know why. Okay, what is the arm length? Because it still thought that it was disconnected there, which means it was flapping between connected and not connected. Yeah, so right here, it's flipping between... So, seizure warning, everybody. 96 and 94 for some reason. And I don't know why. Any bean is a G in my book. My PNG is eating coffee bean fun. Uh, is, is eating a coffee bean fun enough? That's that's great. That's wonderful. Just eating straight up coffee beans. Okay, chocolate covered coffee beans are amazing. 
Straight up coffee beans, not so much. I don't know about that one. Uh, why is this? Okay, there's got to be something when it's hitting, right? Because why would it be hitting and disconnecting at the same time? It's got to be the, the probe size again, then. So that's fine. See, that's normal. And then that's freaking out. And it's literally just jittering between... Like, those are 0 .01 type changes. So if I were to just do nearly equal... Uh, if this is nearly equal to 0 0.01, wait, like within 0 0.01 range, or even 0 0.1, but 0 0.01, then it shouldn't do anything. That'll solve at least the, like, vibrating, wildly aggressive issue. Whoops. Okay, if I can do my own platforming. Nope. It's It, it got worse. See, how does that make any sense? What is it connecting with? That doesn't... There's no reason for that. Okay, it's gotta be... It's because I'm not doing double the probe size. Which also doesn't really make... Wait, no, because this is a custom collision system. Oh, that's annoying. You used to be a bar barista, so it's funny. <laughs> that's actually great. That's that's a per... That's very fitting. There's your own... You're, you're building your own lore. It's wonderful. When you were a barista, did you just eat coffee beans? Just like, you just sneak them, you snack on them as you're going. It's 56 here. Can I have your weather? Thank you for reminding me to buy chocolate covered coffee beans on your next grocery run. Well, now I want to buy some. Alright, uh, this is, this is a big problem. This is a big problem. I'm not even using the same collision test, so this doesn't matter anymore. Okay, what is... Okay, if it is currently hitting, I need it to... No, I need it to tell me when it's not currently hitting. Tell me that you're not currently hitting anything. So I can see that the seizure is disconnecting. And that's the problem. Okay, it is disconnecting. Every other frame, it is disconnecting. So, that means it's telling me that it is not hitting anything, so I just need to do... Okay, I'm gonna big brain for a moment. I'm gonna stop looking at chat for a moment because I need to big brain. Okay, we need to do a timer. Timer by events, potentially. So if I do this, I'm gonna run a check that's gonna custom events... I can't do a custom event in here. I have to do a custom event out here. Custom event, or I could do it by function. Can I not? Really? I swear you can add custom events in here. No. Great event. Fine. Uh, we'll connect it out here. Custom event. This is going to be check uh, collision disconnect. And it's literally just going to be a question of is once active. Because if it is, it's real. All it's going to all it's going to do is delay by one frame. So it's going to check. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to lock in here, guys. I'm trying to actually function. <sighs> right, check collision detection. It's going to delay for one frame. And it's going to ask... Because then I need something to call it here. No, I don't. Okay. No, I do. I don't know. I could do this, I guess. I'll just copy this. Let's just see if this works. So I do this, and if once is true, then it's no longer true. Wait, no. If, if once is not true, that's the... No. If it's true... If we delay for one frame, then it's true... No, so it's only if it's... No, because this. That's not it. So not this. We're gonna do a test here. What am I feeling? Hello? I just ran feel random vibrations in the floor sometimes. That's concerning. Alright, so I'll do this. And then if this is still. What the? Hi. What? what? Oh. 
It was on my floor? Yes. Yeah. Oh, hi. What the? How you doing, Dex? Dexter appeared. All right, dog is here now. Blame the universe, not me. What are we talking about? What am I bl Why am I blaming the universe? Try to make it not 99 for you and the universe said, all right, bet, and lowered yours. Great, thanks. Well, it's not 99 yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long till it gets there. Okay, yeah, g wake up, everybody. That was, that was a way for you guys to wake up. All right, what is... So, if this is true, then we do this. If it's false, then we do this. So if this is still false, then we can do that. Maybe that'll work. I have no idea. This could crash the entire engine because I just kind of zoned out while I did that. Let's hope that that one frame fix... Nope, one frame is not enough. Great. I think the problem is because it's already... It knows it's going, so we'll check is active. No, active... So we'll check first. Is it already active? Because if it's not, then we'll activate it. But if it is, then we're not going to do anything. Then we might need to do it for more than just one frame. Yeah, it's... Okay, it's... It's still doing it. Okay, maybe if I make it just like one second. Because then if it... That's... A problem, though. Nope, still... So it's because of that. Oh, that's frustrating. I think we might just have to say screw it and deal with the fact that we might clip out of the world partially. Oh, that sucks though. I really don't want to do that. But we need to move on. We have one week for this. We need to move on. So I think no matter what, we just do this. Uh, what the? Oh my god, there was a cat in my closet. Hello, turtle. Yes, I have a cat named Turtle. Oh, cat. Hello. Turtle was in my closet. I closed it. Oh my god, it's so much nicer. Alright, I, I, I didn't, I didn't mute, my bad. <laughs> Alright, let's see, what does this look like? How annoying is this gonna be? God, the, the clipping through geometry is so annoying to me, but at least it doesn't have seizures. You know? I think that's really what matters most, is that we don't have seizures here. Or I just get rid of all collision testing. That's the other option here. Is I just skip everything and I just do this. I do it like this. And then it just fades through. That's frustrating to me. It's annoying. Because then you can see the whole level. You can't, I mean, you can't see the whole level because of the fog, but... I could also bring the fog closer, but that seems more annoying to me as well. And then also being able to see the underneath and all those types of things, not preferable. Yeah, no, I think I'll stick to, I'll stick to the collision, being able to clip out just barely. You think you're gonna screenshot my code and send it to your dad? My code is miserable. Look at this mess. Look at this spaghetti mess right here. You don't want to send this to any- no, any- I'm assuming your dad is a real programmer. Um, I'm not- I wouldn't consider myself a real programmer. I am a hack job of a programmer. <laughs> uh, okay, can I just- Fine, we'll do the collision testing this way. And move on. Because at least- Wait, now it's not doing it. What did- what did I do wrong? What did I disconnect? Oh, this. Whoops. That's what I meant. At least now it works. Maybe I just make it snap faster into place instead. 
So instead of 5, I make this like 10 or 15 or something. So you're spending less time out of bounds. That's faster. I guess that's better. I guess that's better. That works. The guy is dev... Sent. We await the verdict. What is your dad going to say? Is your dad going to have a solution? Is he an Unreal Engine developer? Because that would help. Ugh, this is frustrating. Okay. That's fine. Because at least that's something. What I would like to do, though, is add a function here to change the fade. Can I make this a uh, parameter? This will be fade length. So that way, in here, does it not, wait, how does that work? How does this work? I don't remember. Does it have to be a parameter like this? I don't remember how material functions work. If I bring this in here, yeah, no, it's not. How does that work? How do you create a parameter, an exposed parameter in a material function? Input? Function input, that's what it is. Uh, why is it a vector 3? No, just scalar input this is going to be fade length. Fade length. Okay, it is a scalar parameter. Why is the preview value like that? Hello? What? I want it to be 100. But not on a mil- Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Fade length, and now I make this 100. Cool. There we go. Apply that. And now I take this into here. No, into... Yeah, because this is all bugged now. Into here. This one I want to make, like, 50. Maybe. Maybe less. And then the player also needs that. Okay, sorry, I locked in for a second. I'll check back up on chat here in a second because I see you guys talking. Okay, this one can be 100 for sure. That's fine. Okay. How's that look? That's better because it still fades, but it's very close to the camera. That's better. And then I should probably do the same 50 for these. Well, mm, I guess the spikes are fine. That, I don't know. I guess those could also be 50. Let's make this 50. Okay. Good enough. Hey, you can chat again. I couldn't for a minute. Chernobyl bat. See, it, it's it, Twitch is recognizing that you're the cause of all these, uh, all, all the, all the bans from earlier. <laughs> we have a response. Oh God, what is the response gonna be? You didn't time this one out. Yeah, I know. I know. Chernobyl bat didn't time. Didn't get timed out there. Joe's dad laughed. As to be expected, you should laugh at that monster. Look at the- okay, L look at this. Look at this mess. This is a mess because it's a nightmare of me trying to figure out what is going wrong. So like half of this isn't even being used. It's just a- it's just a nightmare. That's all programming. But then there's this, which is like very clean and kind of organized. It's not perfect, but it's- it's organized. This is just- I mean, it's a tiny nightmare. Now think- I wish- you know, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna show you guys- we're gonna take a, a small detour. Okay, we'll get back to this game dev here in a minute. I wanna show you guys Bark. Some of the programming that I did for Bark, which is, uh, I'm gonna cringe. Where is Bark? It's in here somewhere. Bark v2, there we go. Um, Bark, for those of you who don't know, is my full released uh, horror game on Steam. Uh, it was my first ever Steam release. And uh, it's it, it, it had some issues. It still has some issues. And I don't have time to go back and change those issues. Um, but it was my first, like, learning experience with releasing a game on Steam. And some of the spaghetti code in here, good god. Look at the exact words. The, the exact words. I quote, This made me laugh, but this is why you will never go into my line of work. <laughs> yeah, no, that is 100% accurate. That, that kind of a nightmare is why so many people stay away from programming. I love it. I love the struggle of, like, trying to pick it apart and figure out what's wrong with code. Uh, so I, I just keep doing that. Is Bark a spooky game? Bark is a horror game from the perspective of a dog. It's based on, uh, it's, it's based on this dude back here. He is, he is, he is a, well, it's not, it's not entirely based on him. 
it is um because the idea is it's about an abusive it's it's about a dog with an abusive owner which he did not have he did not suffer with an abusive owner but he does suffer with a lot of anxiety and things like that so you know he's he's the one who inspired that and you play from his perspective whenever this will load all right we're gonna get to back to worship for now that's gonna load in the back this is the wrong one this is the thankmas game let's ignore that that's fine that's also chaos um okay for for now this okay this works i'm fine with this i'm annoyed that this is how we had to do it but at least seizures won't occur anymore it's still going to be difficult to see where you're trying to go but at least now that works better okay i'm i'm okay with that i'm i'm fine with that because we need to move on anyway okay so now you're over here where do we get to from here where's a good point to move forward from maybe to like here across to there unless you can reach that can you reach that no. Okay, good. But you can get to it from here? No. Okay, good. That's the good thing about not being able to jump more than one block height at a time, is you have to do things this way. You might not be able to reach that, though. You absolutely can't reach that. That's a problem. <laughs> yes, play it, do it. I love how everybody, whenever there's a game that I made, and people are like, ooh, I might have to play that, everybody's like, yes, do it! I love, I love that from you guys. You guys are awesome. Update from Joe's dad. Update from Joe's dad. All he said was... What do you think of this? All I said was, what do you think of this? And what did he, what did he say? What's the new update? What's the new update? My hamster in farming sim is still flying. Harvester, not hamster. <laughs> I was about to ask how you got a hamster in farming sim. He's still laughing. What is he laughing about? He's, he's laughing, but like, what, what is funny about it? Is it just because it's spaghetti? Because, yes, it is just spaghetti, but it's not that funny. It's just me struggling to figure out what I where I went wrong. I could do this. I need this one, though. Did I... Oh, I made that go lower. That's not going to work. Because then you... No, that will work. Never mind. I didn't make that lower. I'm stupid. I don't know how far you could reach. I think it has to be closer back this way. Like, here in the middle, kind of. Spaghetti mess is getting him. It is, oh, he's reading chat. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. The, the spaghetti part is... It's a nightmare. But at least this is working. Yes, hello, Joe's... Okay, that's not... That's not right. This does need to be up one more. And then use this one. This is all just blocking. I'll... I'll, I'll optimize this later. We love programmer dads looking at spaghetti code and, and, and judging it from, like, an actual programmer perspective okay that is not gonna work i guess i could make this into like a bigger platform area maybe i could do this because then i could make like these dangling platforms up top that could be interesting maybe <laughs> hi joe's dad yes hello hello joe's dad <laughs> Thank you for being here and stopping by in chat. <laughs> okay, that's that's not going to work right there at least, but... Okay, that would just skip the point of that. There's no point of going up there then. Okay, making you loop around like this, because yeah, then you could just skip that and go to here. Which defeats that purpose. Okay, so we're not going to... Whoa! We're not going to do that. Oh, thank you, Stream Elements. Yes, wall of text, everybody. Get them with the wall of text. <laughs> New objective, get Joe's dad to sub or follow. Absolutely. Alright. Where do I go from here? Because I, I want you to go here. Maybe like that. No, because then you could just skip to there. It's the fact that you can bonk your head, which is a problem. Okay, Stream Elements, man, Stream Elements is really going crazy with the promotion. You guys know what to do. <laughs> oh. Maybe I just don't have you go over here. Maybe instead I put you this way. Can you reach that? Maybe. Uh, yes, you can. Okay, that's really hard to see where you're going. I want it to be more open and less like along the wall stuff because that's just frustrating. 
And this isn't meant to be a frustrating rage game. It's just meant to be a difficult rage game. So maybe I do this. Like, put them next to each other. That would work, kind of. Give you a jump around. I don't like going that high. It's a little annoying. Stream Elements loves your dad. <laughs> uh, not in game making, but good at Mario. What are we talking about? I missed that portion. He says, hi, Andreas. He's the only one I actually know of. He any good? Oh, at programming. Oh, <laughs> hello, Jacob. Welcome in, buddy. Uh, all right. I could have you do like a jump around that way, maybe. I don't know. I think I'd still rather have it kind of be like this, offset, disconnected. You still can't make that, so you'd have to go over here, and then it's really close to bonking. I could also do this. Force you to go there. But you could probably make that jump normally, so it'd have to be one of these. That might be too far. That's a tight jump if so. Oop. Hello, dog. Yeah, I like how my dog wants in here, but this is probably the hottest room in the house right now. Yeah, you definitely can't make that. I could do... I guess I could just put you along the wall here, because then there's no way you can jump around. Yeah, you can't make that, can you? No, good. The exploding bean is my favorite part so far. Oh, I, wow, that was bad. Right, at least this is like a, a, a fair programming sec- uh, programming? Platforming section. At least this is like a reasonable area. I guess I could put like a wall here to block you from being able to jump to here, but I'd like to do another like this. Unless you can just skip. You might just be able to skip now. Okay, I don't think you can. I mean, if you can, it's not a big deal. You definitely can't make that, so that's that's good. Hold on. Yeah, no, you can. Okay, good. Okay. Can you make that? Maybe? You might be able to skip that. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. All that matters is being able to do this. Well, you could just skip to the end, but I guess that would be the end of this section here. I would like to put a wall here, potentially. So if I get rid of this, I move this back. It's like here. Yeah. Then you're forced to make it to Boop! like... Jesus Christ! Thank you, Gonzilio! Gonzilio? Gonzillo. I can't read that. Is that dad? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for following. That was terrifying. We we don't get notifications all that often, but good God, <laughs> when that happens, Jesus. All right, I could do that maybe. No, that's too high. I could do that. I don't know if you can make that. You definitely can't make that. But you could do this. Not in edit mode. I hate having to sw swap into edit mode every single time I want to do something like this. That's the most annoying thing. And there we go. Uh, it's terrifying when things like that happen, but I love it. Thank you guys. Th thank you guys for supporting this. This is great. This is a lot of fun. Although we've made almost no progress from where we started. At least we're getting some level design done. We've been going for three and a half hours almost. And most of that was spent banning people. <laughs> uh, okay, that was that was almost too easy. Uh, banning people, messing with camera settings, and that's about it. But at least it's functioning now. And also we can look through walls, and it's at least kind of smooth. So that's, that's fine. Everything's fine. I could make you jump to the, to like there. Maybe that's better. Do like this. And then I could have one on each side. That works. Because that's kind of centered. Now that's easier. That's annoying. 
Just joined Twitch. This is your first sub. Well, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Uh, welcome to the chaos. Everybody, 07s. Oh, uh, I keep using this hand, but then there's this thing in frame and it looks weird. But 07s, guys. 07s to their journey, which is only going to go downhill from here. <laughs> uh, guys, we have a problem. I have to pee again. I'll be back. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> I still cannot understand why my computer is screaming so aggressively. My computer hates me so much right now. Like, do I need to go into unlit mode? Look at how bland this looks in unlit. This looks terrible in unlit mode. Good god. Did my computer calm down? It did not. Nothing. This, this changed nothing. So we're gonna stay in lit mode because there's literally no lighting. It's just post-process effects. Okay. That's fine. This is a cursed app. Yes, Twitch is a nightmare of an app. <laughs> C++, Go? I don't know what Go is. Python, JavaScript, and the slightly more fascist TypeScript. That is a lot. That's a lot. I wish I knew even slightly more than I did. I literally only know Blueprint, which means I have an understanding of C++, kind of, I guess, but... Man. Hello, dog. You good, bud? I don't know why my dog's choosing to be in here. It's so hot in here. Fun. Maybe you should start your own stream. I'm gonna learn to. You're, you're gonna. You're trying to learn. Get man. I wish you could read. You know, it would be great if I could read as a streamer. It's really important to be able to read chat. I wish I could read. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should. You should absolutely. If you're thinking about it and you think you would enjoy it, absolutely go for it. It's so fun. It's very fun to stream, especially when you get people here hanging out and, and talking to you. Even when it's distracting, when I'm trying to like actually progress, it's very fun. Do we make the fog distance <clears throat> shorter? It would be good if I could read. Well, th yeah, yeah, thank you. Yes, I know. I'm aware. Okay, if I... Because then we could lower the cold distance as well. So if I if I lower the cold distance to... Let's just say 8,000. The fog would have to be a lot closer. Maybe even like... Okay, let's start with like 5,000. Let's just see... Oh, that's way too close. No, that's way too close. We'll go 8,000. 8,000 is fine. And then we can increase the fog distance. Where is that? Is it is it a post-process thing? Oh, it's right. I'm doing fog differently. It's one of these. Uh, which one? Distance fog. It needs to start right there. So that'll be 15 at 1. So there's the new fog distance. Whoops. Oh, that is not far enough. Okay, fog distance needs to be closer. So that's a problem. So, I guess I could go, go closer. 12. That's really, really close fog. But at least then you can't see super far ahead in the level. I don't know. I think I kind of like it better before. Your dad had to go, but he said bye. All right, we'll see you, see you, Joe, see you, Joe, Dad. Well, we need a, we need a, a, an interesting name for Joe's dad. Joe, Joe, Dad. Joe, Joe, Daddy. No, that doesn't. Work. Never mind. Don't tell him I said that. Um, that kind of works. It looks way too close to me. 
Because, like, if we... Then I guess that's not that bad. I guess... I don't know. We'll tweak that a lot. Whatever. It's fine for now. He just called and said, Wish the spaghetti man luck for me. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers to that. <laughs> I will be called the spaghetti man because of my Italian side and because of my spaghetti code. I, I take that as a grand compliment. I am the spaghetti man. All right, I guess that's fine for now. Okay, first platforming section. I guess that's fine. I don't want this here, but I want something else here. So here's the thing too. Do we want to add like collectibles? Because we love adding collectibles that are harder to get around here. We love that. <clears throat> yeah, you definitely can't skip that, so that's good. So you'll have to go here, 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 jump to here, almost bonk your head, or actually you do have to bonk your head, and then go over here. Hmm. He'd be screaming at stream constantly. 100%. You guys are chaotic. But, I mean, you guys have to get it from somewhere, so it makes sense. Alright, uh, from here, okay, there's, there's, like, one section. So now, we can, you can kind of see, I want to split this up into, like, sections of a level. But not, like, solidifying that this is one section. Because the level is still, like, it's a continuous level. I guess we could have save states that would garner a, a, a section, like, would, would deem it a section of the level. <clears throat> Cause yeah, I'd like to have something back that you could go further back for to get like collectibles and stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll have an opening like there or something and then I'll have an extra platforming section back here up top. That could be interesting. Maybe we will do that. So if I take a piece here, hello, can I drag? No, no, I'm not, I'm not allowed to drag. Why not? Oh, it's cause I'm still in this editing mode. That's annoying. Okay. I don't know why that snapped. That was weird. God, brush editing mode is so annoying. Okay. Now I do this. And now I do this. And then I set this to... Uh, why can't I select it? Thank you. Make this subtractive. Put it there. There we go. And now, of course, this is annoying. Select all adjacent. And make it this. There we go. So now, if we want to go backwards, there will be a separate area right here that we can get to. That you can only get to this way, and then there will be another area up top that we can explore. Whatever. That's cool. He's me, but male, and throws burritos at his love language. Uh, as his love language. Strangely sounds oddly similar to me. Because I love burritos. It's I, I do a combination of like the Ryan Trahan slap and the th the launching of burritos, which are both equally respectable. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Stream Elements, for promoting the chaos. Okay, so if I do that, can you reach that from here? Probably can, which is a problem. You absolutely can. Well, that's... Wait, can you reach this? Oh, you probably can now. Uh, did I freeze? Okay, nope. You can reach that. That is a problem. Okay, I found two problems immediately. You go here. Okay, so I'll put this up higher and make it a head bonk motion. And then here, you can make that. So maybe I do this. And I just make it a one. Maybe I just make it a one block. Because that's harder to land on and potentially more problems. Interesting. Interesting. All right, and I do this, and then let's see. Jump around. Wait, no, I wanted to see if I can make this. What do you, YouTube? Yes, I'm still watching. Stop. <laughs> okay, I don't think you can make that now. At least not nearly as easily. That takes way more skill if you can. I don't think it's possible though. So that's good. But now can you make this? You can. Okay, that's that's a very difficult jump right there. 
Uh, that also means that I should change this because it's no longer a pillar. Or I could make this a pillar. I guess I should make this a pillar. Yeah, let's make that a pillar. It doesn't need to be like this. It just needs to be here and down one. Sweet. That's fine. It doesn't look as great. I don't really care. Okay, that was kind of a coyote jump. Interesting. Okay, now we're here, and then we'll have more platforms like this up here. And we could have... I think we'll have, like, one here in the corner, and that'll be... the collectible thing right here. That could be interesting. There we go. So that'll be the ending point. I guess maybe it could be out more, like this. Nah, we'll make it one. I don't know, I'll tweak that. Whatever, doesn't matter. So then we'll have you jump around to get to there, and then that'll be the collectible up there. Assuming we want a collectible. This'll all get deleted if I choose to not add a collectible. But okay. Now, there's that like secret area over there. And then you would have to make it back without dying to uh, to keep the collectible, because collectibles won't save until you hit a checkpoint. Fanfic shall be made shortly. Oh god. Oh god. Man is insane, but look, you made me, so what did you expect? Yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, of course you guys are going to be similar to me, because otherwise you guys wouldn't stay here and continue to watch me. So it makes sense that I would be also similar to your dad. <laughs> Alright. Where do we go from here? I guess I could put another pillar. Oh, I just realized that's a mess. That's not what I want. I'd rather it be this. Right here. Like this, and then this needs to extend downward. Not that this matters. This is just me being nitpicky again, but still. And this goes down one. There we go. I don't know why I do this to myself. Why do I make these minor changes that don't really matter so frequently? I can do that. That's interesting. Can you make that jump? Probably. Actually, maybe not. Okay, well, you can't do that. Wait, what am I doing? So here's the thing. Um, it's going to be... I want this to be a challenge where... You know, I give first a time limit. Okay, you can't make that. Good. Uh, but also the idea of this is I don't want this to be a time-based game because that isn't as enjoyable to me. Okay, you, you definitely can't do that. I don't know what the point of having that there would be other than just to fill the space differently. I guess to stop you from skipping. Can you skip that? You can't skip that, so there's no point to having this here. Unless I want you to get a jump up. I guess I could do that, and then maybe I'll have you start there. Okay, I think that's first section of the game done, and it took us four hours, or almost four hours. Jesus. Okay, I gotta go do something real quick. I'll be right back. Enjoy the music, gamers. Vibe.
I just realized that I kind of accidentally, because of this color combination, I kind of accidentally made the spikes look like lava from a distance if there's a lot of them on the floor. That's kind of great. He will say no. Here, say this word. No. Perfect. Why does my viewership go up when I leave? Why does my viewership go up when I'm not in the chair and it's just the chair? Why? why? <laughs> also, this is off again. It needs to be this way. Just barely. I think. Is that better? Nope. That was worse. More this way. That's even worse. God, it's so minuscule. Tiny details. Oh my god, my camera's hot. That's fine, I think. Probably. Good enough. Okay. So this is the first little section done, I think. Um, Alright. <clears throat> and we can have different spike uh, collections for each little zone. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Delete those. Okay, now let me bring one over here as well as my like placeholder. Okay. And now <clears throat> what is this next zone gonna be? I wanna get you back down on the floor, but I think I wanna start it out with Whoops. Hello. There we go. I wanna start it out by doing this. Just having like a bunch of spikes for a little portion of it. Just an amount that you can't like skip. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six would be, no, seven, eight, I don't know. Where does it end? Where does this end here? <clears throat> oh, perfect. Right there. Okay, that's one square's worth. I think. Yeah. So there's one square of spikes. The problem is the spikes don't cull individually. They coal in chunks. Which is also a problem. Kind of. <sighs> okay, I don't know. We might, we'll might we have to mess with that with like instances later. I'll see. I might have to completely overhaul the spike system later. But also, I mean, th once again, this is a very lightweight game. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem. At least not for the demo. But if I want to release this on Steam, I want to make this optimized. Uh, okay. I can't skip that, right? I don't think I can. Let me skip to the next section. Let me take this over here. Cool. Nope. Not what I meant. There we go. So if I try to skip this, nope, I make it to there. And then if I try to skip this like this, nope, I don't even, I make it even less far. Okay. So, yeah, I don't, no matter what, you can't skip that. That's good. Um... <clears throat> but uh, after this, I want to get you back on the floor. Because I want more floor-based challenges, less air-based challenges. So, I think we start with, like, this pole. I take this. Nope, that's not the right height. Uh, this pole? That's even shorter. Okay, it's got to be this one, then. Yep. Okay. So, I start with this one, like... I don't know. Here, maybe? Or I'll do, like, this, maybe? To get you started up there. Oh, you kind of have to backtrack a little bit and then you go over here. No, that's easy. Um, maybe over here. <laughs> Welcome back, Waffles. <laughs> See, that's how I know you guys return, is you guys E when you return. Alright, uh, that works, but I'd rather not do pillar. I'd rather this just be... I could just take from this, can't I? Yep. I'd rather this just be a wall piece. But then you need to be able to, whoops, you need to be stopped here. So you need to stop here because otherwise you're just going to be able to go here. So maybe I'll just add a giant wall. Just a gigantic wall on the edge here to stop you from progressing. Unless you make it around this corner. So we can do this and then I'll take this edge here. E is the universal sign of return, yes. But it's also the universal sign of E, which is crucial in its own right. So, gotta save it for the right moments, gamers. 
Okay. Then there's an opening there, and then this just needs to go up to the top. There we go. Now it's completely blocked on that side, so you have to go around the left. Uh, in fact, I should stop you from being able to... Let's, let's edit this. So I'll go up to here, and then I'll extrude it, and I'll go... Yes, I know. I'll go up to here, and then here. There we go. Okay. And now this, I just need to select all adjacent. Bam. Cool. Okay. So there, now you have to go down that side. Oh, I should make that lower, shouldn't I? Probably. Yeah, you, you missed some stuff, Waffles. You missed a lot of stuff. Yeah, Joe's dad came in, joined the party. Laughed at my spaghetti code for a while. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Spaghetti code doesn't matter. As long as it works. As long as it works, that's what matters. We all know the Lixian phrase. Come on. We all know it. Welcome back, Jacob. Nope, oh, that's, that's a rough jump. I want to force you to make it out over there, and then maybe I could even get rid of these two. Whoops, not the whole thing. There we go. Uh, I may actually be able to do this. Give it a nice little opening there. Can you skip to that? I hope not. You can't skip to there, can you? Oh, you might be able to make that. If you're extremely skilled, you may be able to make that. I don't know about the lack of a coyote jump might prevent that, but... If so, barely. That's for that's for people like Maker to try out. Maker, you love to speedrun things, so when this game inevitably releases, uh, good luck. <laughs> Resisting the urge to call you J Cobb. That's everybody. Everybody calls him J on, J on the Cobb is what I call him. That's my favorite. He hates it, but it's my favorite. Okay. Uh, once we get to here, no, that's, that's too far of a jump. I might keep it like there and then I'll have one over here. Maybe along the wall. Cause I want to get you back down on the ground without allowing you to skip too far. I could do, Ooh, this could be an interesting one making you jump around partially. So I do this and then I do this. So it's like attached to the ceiling. You have to jump around it. That's a nice one. It's annoying to me how long this takes to set up. Ooh, you may not be able to do that. Might be too far. Oh, no, it's not. And then can you make that? You can make that. So I'm going to have to block other stuff. Uh, in fact, I'll probably do... Whoops. This. And then I'll add a wall. Here. Um, I could make this just like a, this could be interesting. Let's try this. If I do this, bump this up here. Nope. Can I please? There we go. Uh, and then move this over to here and then extrude this up. We could probably do this and then this. Thank you, Stream Elements, for reminding everybody. Guys, use your primes. We love Twitch primes. Alright, here we go. Uh, I think you could probably make that, and then that would allow you to drop down, so that wouldn't really work, but... What would make it work, actually, is if I edit this... and do this... I guess I could do, yeah, like this. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, extrude it like this. Come on. Don't crash. Oh, I thought it was going to crash. Why did it do that? Why does this hate me so much sometimes? And then down one. Da da down one. Da down one. There we go. And then that'll force you in like that. You might not even be able to make that. That's... No, never mind. Nope, not going to happen. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to mess with that. 
still have yet to play I Am Bean. It, it's probably because it still has yet to be updated in a way that will keep you from blowing up your computer. Okay, you can't even make that, so I'm, I'm worrying for nothing. This is a very difficult corner. That's a that's a stupidly difficult corner right there. I don't know if I want to do that. I might want to do this instead. I'll make you jump out and around. Why am I in edit mode still? I am. Yeah, I think I want to do that instead. I have no idea what I'm missing. We're also being in this game. We are also being in this game. You are correct. Okay, that's an interesting little situation there. I don't like the wall. Being that close to the wall is annoying. But if it comes out like there, then that's also frustrating. Because then it's too close. Because then you can make that easily. And then you can just drop like that. And then you're out. I guess I could block it off all the way to the ceiling. That's also an option. Maybe I will do that. Yep, I could do that. That's that's fine. It's not exactly what I wanted, but maybe that's a better way to go. Because then if you can jump around, you deserve the skip. Well, you might actually be able to skip around like that instead. Whoop. Nope. That is a very difficult jump. I guess if you ride the edge, it's not as hard to do, but... Can you make that, actually? I wonder. Oh, man. Okay, that's tough. That's a good skip, if so. We're not going to make this the main way to do it. I just want to see if it's possible. Ooh, it's kind of close. That's a that's a challenge right there. That's a that's an interesting little time save if you can manage to do that. Man, that jump around. Jumping around is one of my favorite things in Rage games because of how difficult it is to achieve, but how rewarding it is when you succeed. Like, Minecraft parkour specifically is a huge example of that. I don't know if you're fast enough to be able to make that. You're very close. Okay, there's a challenge for you guys if you guys want to try that at some point. I guess we could add an item up there, potentially. This game is more up your alley than I Am Bean, so that's probably why you haven't played it yet. I Am Bean is... It's a, it's a platformer... It's... It's a platformer. This is more of like a rage platformer. Um, I don't know. It's hard to describe. Alright, uh, where do we go from here? I could have you go down to, like, a pillar on the ground here, maybe? We could add more pillars. Because I don't want to have you go up any higher. I guess I could. It's, like, in the middle. I could have you jump around to, like, here... Because then that's really easy to, to skip. So there needs to be one pillar here. And it should be a short one, probably. Or I guess I could do, like, this. Can you get to that? You can probably really easily get to that. Yeah, you can. can you, you might almost be able to skip. I think I tried that. Yeah, I tried that multiple times. Okay, that's not going to happen. <sighs> that's a problem, though. Yeah, thank you again, Stream Elements, for constantly reminding everybody. It's very helpful. Okay, that's still a problem. I did not think this would be the hard part. I could do another ceiling, ceiling pillar. I want to go, like, around and down to there. I guess I could also just make this, like, a higher wall here. I don't know. 
That's tough. About to ban stream elements. <laughs> hey, stream elements is doing its job, okay? It doesn't deserve a ban. We could do this, I guess. But you can jump to that, so it would have to be like here. Which then makes that really easy. Can you make that? You can. Yeah, that's way too easy. Because I want that to be a difficult area. I could just add like a complete wall block in the middle, kind of like here. And then just scale it down a bit. So I could do like this. Or just bring it into like here to block off that section of the level. And then scale this to the ceiling. I guess that works. It's kind of weird just having a random wall there, but... At least then you're forced into this area. I don't know. Jay, do you like bean dip? <laughs> oh god. Oh bean dip. Oh sevens to bean dip. Poor bean dip. We didn't end up banning bean dip, did we? No, because uh, Chernobyl took the hit. Right. Unless they both took the hit in the end. I can't remember. I could do that. It's weird this. Th this part's the weird part. I guess I could do that. And then we'll take... This here. And I could put it... Oh, it, ha it would have to be really low though. So you can't jump up. I guess it would be... I, I could do this. What's happening? There we go. Okay, I could do that. And then make this out to here. And up one. There we go. That works. So then I could put this here like that. It could be the whole way. I don't know. I'll have to see. Andres is bean dip. Andres is not bean dip. And well, Andres has the nickname bean dip, right? God, I, keeping up with your guys' lore is more complicated than anything my lore related. You guys have, I mean, you guys, your lore is my lore, I suppose, but the lore that you guys infuse into my chat, my chat and my channels is more than anything I could create. That's for sure. Okay, that works. I guess this could be up against the wall like that. That's interesting. I stepped on a plug and my foot is actively dying. Uh, my my best advice to you is don't do that. That's bad for your health. Probably hurts. Uh, warning. I know it might be a little too late, but just uh, just in case you didn't consider that. Uh, ow. All right. Let's. Can we make that? We might not be able to make that now. That's good, because then I can add another kind of middle platform. Yeah, I don't think you can. Okay. Can you skip around? No. Okay, that's a good thing. You can't skip around the wall. I don't think, anyway. Okay. But I don't want there to be another intermediate platform. Like, intermediary platform? I don't know what the word is. I guess I could do that. Can you still reach that? Maybe. That's a harder jump. That's a much harder jump now. Okay, you can still make that barely, and then you can get to here and you can get out. Okay. That works. You can't get back, though. So if there's any reversing, that's not going to work. But for now, that works. I really don't like the ceiling issue. The ceiling, like, clipping through the ceiling is making me mad. But it works, I guess. Alright, um... I could put a checkpoint up here, but I think it's better to have a collectible up there. But how would you get the collectible? I guess you would have to jump around. Ooh, you know what a fun jump around could be? Is, uh... Having one right here. Can I take the piece that's out here, please? Yes. This one... <laughs> Welcome back, Bean Dip! Did you, you... You finally made it out of the band. Did you get a band? I don't remember if you actually did or not. Okay, is that possible to skip to? 
Oh, you might be able to skip to that. That's not. Can you not? Wait, maybe not. Okay, good. Oh, wait, but then you could just do this. <laughs> well, that makes it much easier. That defeats the whole purpose of the jump around. That doesn't work. Hmm. I guess I could make this a little bit lower and more just like one portion. That could also help. I could do that. Thin ice. Oh, you could give Bean a ban. You could give Bean Dip a ban. Bean Dip has already gotten timed out. We don't actually ban, we time them out. Um, even though I think banning happens for a... No, banning is permanent. So time out, I guess it's not permanent, permanent. We, we time out for a million seconds. If you check, you can see in the points there is... Well, there's Chip for Andres. So that's a new one. But there's also... For 10,000 points, you can choose to vanish for 100,000 seconds, which is uh, like 28 hours or something like that. So, it, you can you can, you can can summon it for yourself and disappear for 100,000 seconds. <laughs> this is my last remaining account. Perfect. You did this to yourself, General Bad. You, you chose this. I guess I could put... No, because that's too easy. I could put it... You, no, that's even easier. I wonder if I could do that. Would that work? Could you make that jump? I don't want to do that. Yeah, you could easily make that jump. You could also easily make that, so that defeats the purpose of the other pillar. And then that makes... Oh, you, that doesn't help at all anyway. So it would have to still be... Like, here. And this still needs to be higher. Okay, let's undo that. Yeah, that's fine where that was. This one just needs to be over here. Could you make it to that? I wonder if you could make it to that. Because if you can, then that's great. I'd prefer... Oh, yeah, no, you can't make that from there anyway. So you would have to... Do this, which you can't make it to. Okay. Could you make it to it from here? You can. Well, that is too easy. Yeah, that's significantly easier. Imagine not having 20,000 accounts. Well, you have yet to prove that you actually have 20,000 accounts, so, you know. Because you're too delicious. Bean dip is way too delicious. <laughs> Alright, this is, th this secret area is a problem. Hmm. I wonder if maybe I just make it accessible from a different area. Like, I have an opening here or something that you can come around with. I don't know. I think we'll have to mess with that secret area later if we have to get rid of it entirely. Oh, well. But for now, this works. It's very. It's got some very difficult jumps, like, right here. That is, that is a very ridiculous jump around right there. Yeah, that's tough. That's really tough. I like the idea of being able to make you go backwards, but I don't think that's going to happen. That would take way too much extra that I just don't have the brain power for. Oh, getting through that gap is a little annoying. If I make that just flat... Oh, you can jump around and reach that if you're really skilled. How did I even do that? Oh, I guess you just have to really cut the corner tight. Yeah, okay. So you could skip that. So I guess what I could do, technically is delete this, bring in the other cube, and just do like that. I think you could still probably make that, because it kind of evens out. Maybe not. It's not that I don't want you to be able to take shortcuts, I don't want it to be easy to take shortcuts, you know? Nope. Nope. Yeah, okay, I don't think you can make that. And if you can, it takes a lot of skill. Can you make this, though? You can. Okay, that's good. That's what matters. Okay, so that's that's fine. Um, you could make that too easily if I made it a two block. Hmm. I don't know. That's going to be... Getting past there is going to be an interesting point because of this por portion that I want to have an uh, item in. Just like over here, where I want there to be an item there. I don't know. We're gonna have to mess with that. Recording done. Welcome back, Kate.
Remember that really good pizza you had that one time or that one absurdly good dish that you had that made you blank out until you ate it because of how good it was. Think of that. Yes. Yes. Be hungry. Well, I already had pizza today. You're talking to Jacob, but I am also reading chat, so... Oh, I'm not hungry. You, you failed. Good, good try. <laughs> Alright. The harvester has come down. I repeat, the harvester has come down. The hamster. The hamster harvester has come down. Congratulations. Do it again. Can you make this now? No. Okay, good. So you have to do this. You cannot make this jump to here normally. That's good. I don't think you can make that. Okay, so the, the only possible loop around would be... Or, like, the, the only possible skip would be this. Okay, let's try to do these two back-to-back. -back. Let's see what happens. We still don't have the first section, because I don't know what to do for that. But that's fine. Alright. Here. Easy. Very easy. There's the other secret area that we have not built yet. Well, not so easy after all. Can you skip that? No. I'm sure I've tried these skips a million times now. I think you could... No, you'll bonk. Never mind. Okay, nice. Barely made that. Oh, and then you get reset. Okay, so the uh, the first save is going to be over there. So that's how it gets you, right? It gets you with, uh, with lack of save points. That's the rage aspect, right? Because I want the game to be fair, but I want it to be difficult. I want it to feel like you're the one in control, and if you fail, it is your fault, not the game's. Okay, there we go. So progress, we could add a save here probably. Or somewhere close. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good three-room challenge, I guess you can call it, to start. That's a good spot to to add the first save. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know what to do for the first room still, but progress is progress, gamers. Okay. Moving on, then. We will bring this over here. As I'm playing, I'm starting to realize that I probably don't need to add any more um, mechanics, gameplay-wise, because it is so simplistic. And I feel like it, 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 it thrives from being as simplistic as it is. Adding more mechanics would just make it more complicated, and if anything, I would want to add a double jump, which would completely destroy the beginning area. Or, like, maybe interactions or something. Okay, I think it's time we start introducing moving platforms, which I don't have yet. So I need to uh, I need to figure that out. Plus, moving platforms don't work with this currently. So, let me get a moving platform going. So I do this here. Uh, I make this even like this, and I make this like this, there we go, uh, and then I scale these by one. Okay. Maybe that's too much. Yeah, there we go. There's our, there's a first moving platform. That's a good size for it. The problem with this is if it's going to be moving, if we unlink this, you'll see the texture does not go with it. Just like Garten a Ban Ban. <laughs> uh, okay. But, to fix that, we have another one of these in here that is presets, and it's grid UV preset 5. So it's grid preset 5, maybe? No, it's, it's this one, right? No. Yes? Maybe. Oh, that's a problem, because it does need to be scaled correctly, but it's annoying. I guess I can do this with... I could just take this and do it this way. Oops, it needs to be snapping, please. It's over here. And then do this in brush editing, and then we just extend this. So we'll do one... Like that. Uh, and then I'll do... That's alright for a moving platform. That's fine. I guess I can do that. <clears throat> now I select all adjacent and I make it like this. 
Right, okay, there's a moving platform. That, that like, that's fine texture-wise. It's just kind of annoying that it has to be done like that. But there's one. I think I'll just make all the different types of moving platforms preemptively, or I'll, like, save them off to the side. Uh, what is the texture that I want to use for these, though? That's a good one. It's just gray. That's the one. Oh, okay, there's the, there's the right preset. What about this? Ooh, that's really good, actually. I like that more. Let me copy this and paste this here. This is going to be M... Oh, well, I could, just, I could just leave that the way that it was. Let me delete that. Yes. Copy that, paste that. There we go. Okay, this will be the moving platform uh, texture. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty good. I'm good with that. What do you guys think? Does this look good for the moving platforms, or should it be a different color? Should it be, like, yellow? I mean, I guess I'm gonna set it up to where you can change this, to where, like, I can change this each time I want to. So, like, there could be a trigger somewhere later in the level that changes all of the colors, you know? Keep it black. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Just out of curiosity. That, that looks like danger. That looks like the default Unreal Engine texture. Orange right now is danger, so... That's nice looking. It's kind of glossy. A light blue, interesting. White is blinding. I don't know what most of these grids are. Ooh, that's a very nice red. That's a very nice red. What's this? There's some good textures in here. I think black is the play, though. Or like a gray. Probably a black over a gray, though. What's this? Ooh, that's nice. It's not really good for this, but it looks nice. Wow, some of these are very cool looking. I think it was this one. Or no, it was well, it was this one. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine for now. What's this? Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it like that for now. That's fine. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. In that case, let's set up the functionality for it. So I'd like to make this... We have it duplicated, right? Yes, okay. This I'm going to turn into a static mesh. Uh, but the... Nope, that's not what I meant. Uh, this needs to move to there. And then... Nope, that's... Uh, hello? Can I do that, please? And then... No, why? Oh, this is so annoying. Whatever. You know what? Why do I care? This is going to be... No, this is why I care. It's because it's annoying. We're going to redo this. We're doing. We're redoing this stupid thing here. Going to edit mode. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, ugh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate when it doesn't do what I want it to do. Alright. We're just going to... We're going to go like this... Nope, that's not what I meant. And do this. 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 Nope. This. And this. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Oh, come on now. Why? I extrude, please. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Like this. Did that edit again? Did that seriously edit it? Oh my god. Why? Extrude. Thank you. Jesus. There we go. There we go. Alright, now select all. And make it... This. There we go. Okay, that was annoying. But there we go. That's now in the center. And now I can take this and... How do I do it? Here? Nope. Here? No. I 
How do you turn this into a thing? Where's the button? Why can't I get the button? I'm, I hate box brushes so much. Oh, it's down here. Oh, uh, why is it a hidden feature? Jesus. All right. Core, this is going to be SM moving platform one. Because there will be multiple. Okay. Good enough for now. Good enough for now. Uh, now I just need to make a blueprint for that. And then we'll make it move along a spline, I think. Probably be a good one. Because then I can have it do multiple patterns and stuff like that. Uh, let's do... BP moving platform. Cool. And we'll add a static mesh. Just going to be moving platform. This will be moving platform. There we go. Okay. And then we need to have a spline. Spline. Okay. And we'll decide if it's going right or left. Alright. Uh, by default, this will go like that, I guess. It's fine. Then we just need to decide, we need to do two things. Okay, there's going to be a variable for loop. Uh, or sorry, closed loop, closed loop, and, oh, actually, there's going to be a few variables here, speed, uh, which will be a float, and then we need one as direction, which will be, uh, I guess it would be forward slash backwards, so I guess we'll just have it as forward because you could also go up so it'll be forward by default then backward backwards just would just be the inverse of that so that's fine for me uh is it a closed loop and then the default speed will be like a hundred i guess or like yeah 100 is fine because i can really fine tune it from there closed loop by default is false and now in the construction script we're going to do a few things because we need to tell the spline set closed Close the loop, and uh, if it is true or not, okay, and update the spline, yes. Then forward will be the direction, so that's all in the construction script. Why did I close it? That can stay open, that's fine. Okay, now we need to know, oh, there's another thing. Is it activated on land or always active? So this will be always active, uh, or no, we'll have it be active. Activation method. Um, because it's either going to be on trigger or... It'll be on land, on trigger, or always moving. So I'll have an enumeration for that. Let's make one of those. Enum. E underscore uh, platform active method. One, two, three. Default is always active. Second would be activate on land and uh, activate by trigger. Okay. Cool. So now, event begin play. We're going to check, first of all, uh, act. Whoops. Active method. We're going to switch at the beginning to see what is the active method currently. Is it always active? If it is always active, then we're just going to immediately do it. If it's not always active, then we're going to activate on land. Actually, neither of these will do anything if it's not always active. Okay. We'll be with Nathan. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the stream. Well, thank you for being here, Andreas. Appreciate you, and I'll see you. I'll see you later. Breaking this farming simulator 22. I sent my harvester flying. Yeah, here we go again. Yeah, good God. You and the flying harvester. I, I called it a hamster and I'm sticking to that. Hamster sounds way cooler than harvester. 
All right, uh, da, 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 activation method. If it's always active, then we're just gonna start. So we're gonna have two functions. There's gonna be or uh, custom event. This will be uh, activate and I guess deactivate. Custom event deactivate. We'll have a few more variables. Deactivate. Um. I guess, yeah, deactivate. No, because not deactivate on leave. Um, I guess it could just be like how many cycles. Because if it only does one cycle. So this will be uh, infinite cycles, which will be true by default. And if it's false, then it'll be one cycle. Yeah. All right. So, we don't need to deactivate then. I guess we should still have a deactivate. Okay, so if we activate it, then we're going to check... <sighs> How am I doing this? Okay, first we're going to call activate. Nope. Activate. There we go. Always active. Then at the beginning we're going to activate it and it's going to start moving. Which is going to do a timeline? Timeline wouldn't work here. I don't really want to do it on tick. I guess that would probably be better. Maybe not on tick. Maybe I'll do... See, a timeline is preferable, but a timeline gives a specific... T I mean, I guess I could do... Timeline... And this is going to be... Update movement. Which will... When we activate it, we're going to set time. No. Because then it would be linear. I guess it could be linear. Because if we just do one float track for one second. And we just have two keys. Whoops. We have two keys. One at one one. Wish. I wish. God. I hate timeline work. It's so annoying. Zero zero. There we go. Uh, it can just be a linear track. Uh, and this will be. Can I rename it? Thank you, Alpha. Okay. And now we set new time. Oh, I have to get update movement and then set new time to zero. Because the alpha is gonna, what's going to change it. And then we will play from start every time. from start probably and then on the alpha we're going to I mean so if problem is is it okay is it forward we're gonna switch because if it's forward then we will play from start if it's backwards then we'll reverse from end uh, we're also gonna select the time here select If it is forward, then it'll be zero. If it's not, then it'll be one. Okay, and then... Yep. Alpha, we're going to... Interp... Because I don't want to just lerp. I could just lerp. Or, you know what? No, I should lerp. This being the alpha. And then we're just going to interp as our target value. That would work, I guess. I know you could just lerp, but I also want it to smooth its way out. Is there like a ease? Ease. I guess I could do that. That works. No, it doesn't. Nope. It would have to be this. Okay, then we'll take... Now I have to figure out how to update its position along the spline, because I don't remember how to do this. Um, set relative location or I guess I could do world location set world location uh, rotation won't happen so we'll just update like this update world location and then we're gonna find find location no find yeah find location closest to world location 
and it would be this at point along no point along or a distance along spline there we go uh no um how do i do that distance along spline get distance along spline at sp no get direction no get transform at distance along spline yes did I just get the location? Get location at distance along spline. There we go. There's the... No, that's not... I guess it is? Yes. And then this would be world, and then this would be the world location. Coordinate space is world. Maybe? So, okay, let's place one in the world and let's see what happens. I could. This could be completely wrong, but I think it's close enough. So if I do that, that, and then up... I think the spline is also backwards. No, it's not. The spline is just... Oh, it's because... There we go. Okay, so this should... Okay, it's infinite cycles forward. Speed. We don't have a speed yet. Oh, right, because we're not adding to the distance. Because uh, it's playing from start every time. Oh, that's a problem. Harvester was launched to Chernobyl was launched up to almost 500 kilometers or 280 miles up in the air. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do it again. Do it multiple times over. Okay, we activated it once. And it should just go for one second. Can I print string? Oh, because it's lurping. It's lurping nothing currently. What am I doing? Of course. Uh, delta seconds. I didn't finish this part. And this is going to lurp at five. Um... Current position, get world, location, which will be the start. Oh, I guess this is follow Vano, redeemed E. <laughs> Good God. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, my, my brain is really starting to have to kick in now. Okay, if I do, instead of this, can I do a verp? V lerp. Lerp vector. Okay, so fine. That's what it's called. Uh, and we lerp between the start and the end, the get point along, get, no, last, no, get points, get number of spline points, get location at spline point, this is the final spline point, world location, that's where it's going to go to. That's what we're going to interp, V interp to. There's our target. There's our current. Delta seconds. Five. And now it's this, so we don't have to get the distance along spline. We can just get this. Unless I could just skip that step. I might just be able to skip that step. Let's see. Yep. Okay, but now it doesn't go backwards. So once it hits the end, we need it to go backwards. So I guess I could... I don't know. Because if it finishes... I don't know. Let's see. Can I set... Direction? No? Really? Set... Play rate. Set... Play rate position. Talent. Length. Oh, you can change the timeline length? That's interesting. That changes things. Huh. Okay, but why can't I set the direction? <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, fine. Because <clears throat> I want it to bounce, basically, back and forth. But there are better ways to do this. I know there are. So if it's forward only, because the, the problem with I want to make this universal. I want it to be able to bounce back and forth. I want it to be able to go in just a constant circle loop. I want it to uh, be able to go in reverse directions. So I guess if it's a 
if it's a closed loop then we won't do this but once it once it finishes if it's a closed loop then we'll just activate again if it is not a closed loop then we will change directions forward is now false or wait we will set this to whatever it currently is not so we'll have not boolean and then we'll activate it let's see Oh, it's being really slow there. And then it didn't quite fit. Wait, what? So it finished it. It's not a closed loop. Why didn't that work? That should have worked. Maybe it's this. Okay, if I skip this, maybe I'll do that. No. Why is it just not redoing it? because I'm reversing from end, so I don't need to set new time. That's probably why. Here we go. Jesus. Still not doing it. <laughs> See you, Maker. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Okay, what is the problem here? Is it ever finishing? Is that the problem? It did finish finishing multiple times it's just not changing that oh I get it okay <clears throat> it's because this needs to flip so we need to check is it forward select because if it is forward then this is what we're going for if not it's zero there we go what why is it snapping back that's not right okay Hmm. No, that is right. Because it's getting its current position. Okay, what happens if I do this? Okay, that worked. It's just it's just kind of spamming it, which is annoying. It's got this really fast part to it, which is not what I want. <clears throat> So if I, not lerp, but if I instead ease, uh, can I vector ease? I can't. That's annoying. That's just going to be harder to do. Okay. Maybe I just do this. Maybe I skip the lerp. Nope, that's not going to work. Because it has to lerp. But if I skip that, then for some reason it just doesn't do it. Yeah, it just snaps back into place. Why does it snap it back? That doesn't make sense. That part doesn't make sense. So if we reverse... It's because of the, It's gotta be because of that, right? I guess I could just lerp a different way. It's just stupid that I have to do that. And I can select a vector. If we're... Going forward, then it's this one. If we're not, then it's this one. And then that becomes our new target. And this. Okay, and then it'll be this, and then mm, it would be this. I know, I just did this. I guess it would be, I don't know. No, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that should work without doing this. They should literally just take the current position of the moving platform. Lerp it with either the first or last point. If it's forward, then it's the last point. If it's not, then it's... That's dumb. It's dumb that it's not working. Because, like, why? Really? So it's not doing what I thought it was doing. So maybe instead of doing this, it'll just always play from start. Yeah, instead it'll always play from start, and then we'll just select forward here, and just do it this way, which is 
equally as dumb. And it'll be another another vector lerp between our current location and the first point, which would be just zero. And then if it's forward, it's this one. If it's not, it's this one. And then that becomes this. That should work. It's still just kind of spamming back and forth. I mean, that works. It's really quick, and it's not easing at all, which is annoying. So that's where this comes in. But then does that actually look better? It does. Okay. And it has no collision. <laughs> I forgot that part. Okay, at least it works. There we go. Alright, now let's hope this does what I think it does. Yes, okay, good. Now, how does momentum, how's momentum supposed to work on, whoa, that was glitchy. How is momentum supposed to work? Should you get extra speed if it's moving like that? Should you, should you be able to get a bunch of speed from that? Because I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess you probably should. If you jump out of a moving car, you're going to be going fast. Maybe. I don't know how physics works. Also, this is really annoying. Wait, so it's smoother if I'm running against it. Really? Well, that's strange. Yeah, it's so smooth if I'm running against it. That doesn't make any sense. Still clips into it, kind of, but... Huh. At least this is better. <sighs> okay. Now let's see if the other portions of it work. If I do this. Oh no, it skips. It does not follow the track. Am I gonna have to look up a tutorial on how to get a moving platform along a spline? <laughs> I shouldn't have to do this. Wait, do I have it? I might have an asset for this actually. Spline. Track splines, no. Well, Sag. Alright, time to look it up. I've done this before, but it's been a long time. Uh, spline moving plat platform UE4. Pause the epic music. We need to learn. Why is this a 20 minute tutorial? I can't no, see, it's so blurry. Have a of yeah, yeah, I know. Is okay. Yes, whatever. I care about the spline portion. To add a point onto our graph. Okay, yes, I know. So click on the event graph tab. Okay. You can now see that travel distance. Yeah, 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 I know. <clears throat> it's spline length. Oh my god, it's not loading. Set world location off of the spline. What the? Okay, spline length. Okay, that's not what I was doing. Alright, we're going to delete all this. We're going to delete all this. We're going to do it the basic way first. Alright. Spline length. We're going to multiply this by the alpha. Okay. In the yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, spot. spline, get location, okay, a distance along spline. Yes. Uh, oh, a distance. Get location at distance along spline in world space. And then do this. That's playing from start. What is this going to do? Okay, there we go. That's what I, That was the only thing that was different. Okay, epic music back. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Now, my problem with the timeline still is that it's a set time that I can't adjust the length of. Which is really frustrating because if I want to slow it down, you know, it doesn't work. 
But if I do this on tick, it's going to be even more of a problem. So I need to be able to set the speed of the actual timeline. So get update movement. Can I get specific points? I might be able to do that, actually. I can't name a point. So that's... Can I name a point? No. Okay. It's pre-physics. This should be post-physics. Maybe that'll help with the player. Oh, it's not moving back and forth right now. Whatever, I'll figure that out later. <clears throat> Okay, my voice is starting to go because I've been talking the whole stream, which will probably be ending here soon because I'm it's getting really hot in here and I'll get I'm gonna work more on this off stream anyway, but I'd like to get moving platforms in place and then uh, we'll pick this up again tomorrow, which tomorrow's stream, by the way, everybody, tomorrow's stream is gonna be a bit different because tomorrow I'm, I have an appointment at uh, a, like 11 ish, so I'm not gonna be able to stream until later in the day, but we will do a stream tomorrow. It'll just be later. I'll let you guys know in the discord when that's when that change will be. So don't worry. Don't worry, you'll find out. Alright, now... Can I just, like, copy this and just undo? Okay. Now, instead of lurping like that, we're gonna get this location. Okay. So now, instead of lurping at all, in fact, we're not going to lurp, we're just going to v interp because we already have that portion. So, this becomes our target, here, our current, and then that should work, I think. Let's see. Nope. Yes. Kind of. Not really. I didn't realize it got, rid of, got rid of that point. Okay, the the, the V-interp is not going to work. It needs to be a lerp. Uh, lerp from there to this, I guess, over this period of time. I don't know. That's not going to work either. I'll have to get the point, the zero point. Yeah, because no, then it just treats it like that. So instead of this... We'll get the zero point right there and lerp like that. Then that resets it instead of reverses it. Okay, so that's where, where am I? It's where this comes in again. I can get rid of, I can close these. What did, why are these still open? I'll save them all. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, so that's where this comes in. If I just use this and then I check, is it forward? If it is forward, then we'll play from start. If it's not, then we'll reverse from end. And that should do the same thing. Yeah. I don't know if it's actually along the spline correctly, but it should be. Also, it's not pushing correctly. That's annoying. Yeah, so that being at a different tick rate. Or wait, actually, maybe that changed. It did. No, it didn't. During physics? No, because that's not ticking at the right time anyway. So this is pre-physics. That's fine. This needs to update during physics. It's this, then. No, it's the whole player. It's pre-physics, so this should be during physics? Nope, that doesn't matter. Okay, I don't know how to fix that, and I really don't care enough right now, so I could do that later. I'll probably do a physics volume for that, and I'll deal with that at a different time. Whatever. Uh, instead, we need to worry about this. Um, also, these should be smooth. I think, here's the... It's tough, because getting this to time itself correctly is the difficult part. Okay, but now at least it's doing that, and it's easing itself in and out. So that's good. But it's way too fast. So. Can I change the duration? Update movement. Set duration. No, set. I saw this thing in here somewhere. 
Set play rate. Ooh, there we go. So it'll just be whatever this speed is. Um, 100, so this will be divided by 100. And that can happen at the beginning. Because that won't change during. So I could do this, right there, like this. Yep. Okay, so that's one. But then if I wanted to bump this up to like 200, now it'll be super fast. Yep. And if I wanted this to be like five, it'd be really slow. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now the question is, do I want it to be smooth like that? Because that's a little annoying. I think it's probably better if it's not smooth. So in here, I didn't realize the play rate was a thing that you could adjust, which is great. Uh, these should just be auto. So now it's a really slow one. If I make this 25, it's a reasonable, it's kind of fast. And then it bounces. Interesting. And then I can also make these not curve. Yeah, like these points, I can make them not curve, which will be great. Can these be linear, please? I would like to edit the spline. All of the spline points should be linear. And then make them all actually linear, please. Hello, spline. Thank you. Make these. Why can't I? Hello? Why is this so annoying? Whatever. Linear. There we go. Now, this will look like an actual regular moving platform. Why did. Wait, no, that's not right. It's not doing that correctly. Never mind. Oh, and it's smooth again. Is it... It's lurping, but... That doesn't make any sense. That should be perfectly linear, and it's not... Okay, what else does he do in this tutorial after that? Okay, he wants it to rotate with it, which I don't want. It's, he's doing all the same. No, that literally does nothing. Okay, no. So something's wrong. Point zero, lerp to there. That's why. So it needs to just be this. But the problem is if it goes backwards. Oh, wait, maybe? Oh, never mind. Okay, it fixed it. I was doing extra stuff. Okay. Turns. Bumps. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Fixed it. Apparently. Sweet. Okay. That was just me being stupid. Alright. So that would be all the way across to there. Yep. Okay. Cool. So that takes care of that as like a general moving platform. Now, does this also work vertically? It should. Yes. Sweet. Okay. Now the question is, if it starts not forward... In this case, if it's not forward, it doesn't matter. Unless, other than it'll start from the end and go back, which is not how I want it to work. But that also makes sense. Now, if it's a closed loop, then it does matter. Right now it's doing that, see? So that's great. Because then the direction matters, because then I want to go forward. Oh, perfect. It actually did it correctly. Okay, sweet. There we go. Because it's a... Okay, so that was, that was automatic. Sweet. All right, so now the other portion of this is the trigger. So box, collision. Which will be the stand-on trigger. Uh, which will be 50 height, no, be 25 height, 50, 50, no, uh, 150, 150, yes, okay, sweet, so this will be the standing trigger, that's kind of annoying, 
up by 75. There we go. So if you ever end up in this trigger, then it will start it if that is the activation type. So I will add a on begin overlap. Cast to player. And then if this is the case, then we will check is it uh infinite cycle? No, yeah, activation method. Whoops. Wrong thing. Check the activation method like this. Check the activation method. Active on activate on land. If it is, then we're going to uh, activate. Okay, cool. So right now this just starts by default, and then if we change this to activate on land, it will not activate immediately until that. Oh, but then that happened. It starts it over. So I need one that says active. And whenever this happens, we will call active. And then when we deactivate, we're gonna set it to not active. And then at the end, gotta go study for your exam. See you later. All right, see you, Joe. Appreciate you being here. Say, uh, say hi to your dad again and say that uh, Spaghetti Man says I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, uh, then at the end here, also when it's finished, we need to check, is it infinite cycles? Because if it is infinite cycles, then we will keep going. If it's not, then we're going to deactivate. There we go. Turn this off. And then activate. And then we're going to check here when we do all this right at the end. Is it, or, or sorry, at the beginning, is it already active? Because if it is already active, then we're not gonna do anything. If it's not already active, we're gonna activate it and then go. So now, there we go. Now if I jump off, it doesn't matter because I can't restart it once it's already going. Now it reaches the end, but it's infinite cycle, so it should have done it again anyway. Uh oh, because it needs to tell it now that it's not active. There we go. Okay. Then if I turn off infinite cycles, it'll do it once, and it'll stop at the end. Which, it needs to go back through, so that doesn't work. Then if I do this, I could jump back to it, and then it starts it over. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. That doesn't make any sense, though. Why would it not reverse, then? Because I guess when I jump on it, I activate it, and it's not active, so we activate it, and then... No, because then forward's already been set. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. We're going to figure this out, and then we're going to end stream. Cause it's getting really hot in here and also my voice is dying uh hey appleseed welcome in yes we're still going we're about to end we're struggling but we're almost done welcome in you made it though congratulations all right uh so if it's not infinite cycles then we deactivate oh because that's why because we need to tell it that it's not active wait no so i guess i could just tell it not active but it still needs to do this part. So I guess just this and then this before it moves on. So if it is infinite cycles, then we'll activate. If it's not, then we won't. And then... Okay, and then I jump and it does it again. Okay, but I shouldn't have to do that. One cycle should just go all the way through. So if it's not infinite cycles, then we're going to check... Uh, okay, okay. The way that it started... Let's see. Uh, start direction. We'll just tell it at the very beginning what our start direction is. So we're going to check at one point. Uh, forward. Uh, I guess it'll be started... Uh, started forward. Start... Said 
forward. Okay. And then we're going to check here if forward and started forward are the same. If these are equal, and it is not infinite cycles, if they're equal, then... If they're not equal, then we activate. If they are equal, then we don't. Okay. So now it activated it, and it, this is a one cycle. So it comes back, and then it should stop once it comes back. Okay. And if I land on it and I stay with it, it should do the same thing. Doing this should do nothing. Okay. Cool. We fixed that. There we go. That's good. This can go away because that doesn't matter now. That's more spaghetti code, more of a mess, but it doesn't matter because it works. Uh, last thing then would be, what if it is a one cycle closed loop? Okay, it does that correctly. Even if it's reversed, it's a one cycle closed loop. Cool. The speed is annoying me though. Because it's not doing what I want it to do. The speed is, it's working, but it's not, I don't want it to set the play rate. So I think it needs to be, I need to get the spline length and divide that. So divide the speed by the spline length and then divide that by 100. The speed is 100, the spline length. I guess I could do all of this, so whatever it is, so this would be a 1, 100 would be 1, and then it would be that divided by the spline length, or time slip, I can't remember, maybe it'd be the other way around, let's find out, way too slow, it's probably the other way, nope, that was too fast, what? Ugh, that's the stupid part. Okay, if it's speed 100, then it'll be 100 divided by the length. So that's 25. This would be 100. Okay, so that's slow. Okay, if I keep that in mind and I close the loop, it should be the same speed. Yes, okay, okay, that works. Oh, thank God. Alright, so that's... 100 and then if I made this 500 that's how fast it should be going and then if I unclose the loop yep okay there we go fixed that that works now good because I want the speeds to be consistent there we go nice uh, and then I can the, the only thing I don't have is activate by trigger but we'll deal with that later I don't even think I'm going to use activate by trigger, so it doesn't really matter. If it's always active, it should be infinite. It's not infinite right now because it's, yeah, infinite cycles. There we go. Because this is the one I'm going to use the most. I don't even know if I'll use the other ones really, but I wanted to have, I wanted it to be an option. So there we go. Now we have a moving platform. Cool. Sweet. So now we can do levels with moving platforms, which I will get to later. But for now, that concludes our progress today. We fixed the camera system. It's still really annoying, but you know what? It's better than it was, and that's what matters. Cool, so I will, I will continue from here. I will get more work done on this today, uh, tonight, whatever. Uh, and then we'll pick this up again tomorrow at a later time. Once again, I don't know exactly when, probably around like uh, 3 p.m. or maybe I'll even do like a night stream. I don't know, we'll see. Probably not, but you're so close to redeeming I want mod 2,000 points away. Well, it'll still be another probably stream or so before that happens then, but don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> you're very close, so it might even happen tomorrow. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll let you guys know what time specifically in the Discord once I figure that out. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. And uh, now, we can, now we can do the ending that we were going to do earlier, which is this one. It's a 30-minute ending song, so we're not going to do the whole thing. But here we go, gamers. It's a little bit different today because it's a game dev stream. This doesn't have a beat drop really, so I'm just gonna let it fade out. Do I have a do I have a way to fade out? I don't think I have a fade. 
Let's see. I, I have an idea. We're gonna make a fade. Can you guys hear me? Yes, you can still hear everything. Good. And now I make the transition. Add transition. Fade. Nope, that's Dade. Fade. I don't know how this looks. Okay, how do I specify... Not filters. I don't know how to add it to this scene specifically. This? No, this? Okay, connections. Add connection. From here? Yeah, there we go. Fade to here. It's gonna be really slow coming back. Wait, no, it's not. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's way too fast. No, that's not gonna work. That's way too fast. Hold on. We're gonna get this. Hmm. I hope that works. If not, oh well. 